everyone, and welcome to Wednesday night's edition of System Magic. As always, we're your hosts. My name is Greg, this is Andrew, and we are here for our Wednesday night constructed stream, where we will be returning to modern for the new hotness in modern, which is Mono Red Shrapnel Blast Burn. Andrew, would you like to tell us a little bit about Mono Red Shrapnel Blast Burn? Yeah, well, I'm pretty far from an expert on the deck, but I will, I'll take a stab at it. So I basically think this deck is an outgrowth of the Mono Red Prowess decks that have been seen play in Modern for a while. And the kind of idea or trade-off of it relative to those decks is, I think, primarily that it tries to exploit Urza's Saga, which is obviously one of the best cards in Modern. And in order to do that, it, it makes a bunch of sacrifices, but it might be worth it. Like, uh, you know, it, it, it upgrades all of its burn spells, get to play Galvanic Blast and Shrapnel Blast, which normal Prowess doesn't get to play. They have, they're stuck dealing damage in increments of three. Um, it's, it's lower on the Prowess creatures. It just has Swiss Spear and none of the other nonsense Prowess guys. Uh, and then the main, tra the main advantage, though, is, of course, you get your Saga, which is an incredibly messed up card, gives you access to a nice little tutor package. We have a random creature in Bowman Courier, <laughs> a Pyrite Spell Bomb, a Relic, and some Mistress Bobbles, of course. And, uh, oh. And, yeah, hey, Canadian Bobo, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for the follow. Anyway, keep going. And the deck also attempts to utilize Experimental Synthesizer as both easy fodder to sack to a Shrapnel Blast, a nice artifact that's in play for a Galvanic Blast, and just a cheap way to trigger Prowess and Cantrip. So th that's the basics of the strategy. I, I honestly don't know enough about its matchups to have an opinion. I have heard reports that Hammer is problematic. Uh, I have no firsthand experience to verify that. I assume Millions of Shatter Sprees in the sideboard is an attempt to fix that. Mm -hmm. uh, I have no idea if the mix of artifacts as they're shooting from the sideboard in the main is actually correct. I sus This deck is very new. The list is much less tuned than most things you'll see us present on this channel. And I think there's a decent chance that uh, it is incorrect in several ways. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to try it as is, you know, give it a chance to prove itself, you know, before, like, willy-nilly making changes. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of, like, giving this a chance, and I don't know enough about the specifics of this archetype to have an incredibly informed opinion at this time. Um, I do like that it has four Ragamons in it, so it, it passed my, my initial test. Yeah, my, I my... hear that's a good card. I hear you should put it in your modern decks. Yeah, that was my initial screening, was I checked if there were four Ragamons and there were, so I was willing to play it. Nice, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, uh, and then I, I mean, so, so like, anyway, uh, we're going to see how it goes. Again, I'm, I'm really unsure if, about the construction of the deck, and I want to emphasize that. It's, like, pretty likely, I think, in fact, that if we play five matches on the stream, I will have opinions about changing to take the deck pretty immediately is my guess as to what will happen but i wanted to just like give it a chance give it a clean slate this deck is just coming to prominence in the last like week or two on magic online it's been doing very well in challenges borrowing a few prelims here and there yeah any matchups that you think are particularly good uh i don't know okay. i'm sorry cool that's fine uh <laughs> um, also why are there these random fetch lands is it because of dragon rage channeler yeah it's because drc okay okay that makes sense that makes sense that makes sense yeah, it, and there's a random mix of them like there's actually a bunch of fetch lands. there's like one of each because of uh because of like random naming of fetch lands from yeah, yeah, needles yeah, yeah. right and this is like well, probably never going to come up but it, it is slightly better that makes a lot of sense uh <laughs> like yeah even pneumatic visa they're all they all just find basic mountain yeah uh, oh man but, i wish i'd played this at my modern rcq <laughs> well it might be bad mm. i'm not guaranteeing this deck is good i think its results have been quite impressive but yeah it's hard to assess uh yeah i, I assume slash came to say exactly that immediately is it slasher's deck uh is yeah this is, this is that that's the joke okay this is, this is slasher's deck list and what wow. you should know is that slasher is generally not known for clean and well-built deck lists <laughs> So I wouldn't just, again, I, I would add a, additional salt from the salt I've already added to the deck list for uh -huh. that reason. I see, yeah. Uh, you know, like, for example, Slasher's famously a hater of Othamissa in Mono Green, which is an unhinged opinion. Wow, that is an unhinged opinion. So, yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure this deck is good, but Have I want to try. Have the Kragenwick Cremator test? Well, I don't remember what that card does, so... Uh. I mean, I know what it does, but I have no idea what the test is. Yeah, something about... It has a lot of text, something about lands, right? You discard a card at random and it deals that much damage to something. Never mind. And oh, it's a that one's not very five good four. at this deck. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bushwhack Enjoyer. Wow, okay. Yeah. So, oh, I see. 
Well, it, the deck might be bad. I, I'm not guaranteeing it's good. I just want to give it a chance. I think it has some interesting elements. Um, but, like, like, <laughs> but I mean, I, okay, look, look, I, I, I'll, I'll sell you on the deck for a minute here. Okay, look, it's hard to go that wrong with the core of DRC and Ragavan. Yeah. Ur this deck also gets to play Urza Saga, which is basically unique to it. There's no other DRC Ragavan Saga deck seen play in modern right now. I think that is unexplored space, and there's probably something there. Whether it's precisely this, I don't know, but I, I can see an appeal. You know, I like I like having creatures with prowess combined with light up the stage. I like having burn spells hit for more than three damage. I like experimental synthesizer shrapnel blast. I like I don't I don't know like I think synthesizer is honestly quite a powerful effect, um, so, and has not really been well utilized in modern. So we'll see. Um, and whether this is 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 exactly true or not, I think it's going to lead us down an interesting road. I think we'll learn some stuff from playing it. And I think it's pretty likely to inform modern deck building going forward. So I'm giving it a chance. And, you know, I, I definitely want Chet to be aware that, like, while I think this archetype has potential, I think there's a real shot, there's something here, we're still in an unformed stage. So we'll, yep. we'll, we'll have to see. Um, but, yeah, uh, with that... Yeah, we, really before we get into the, the games, just a quick announcement slash reminder for all of you that thanks to some persistence... System Magic was officially added to the Early Access event for Phyrexia All Will Be One, which is tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming for an extra amount of time tomorrow. We should be starting around 1 p.m. Central Time. Um, so tune in. We will be drafting some new for, some Phyrexia All Will Be One. We are. I am beyond excited to be in the Early Access event. Really? And like, I was so bummed when it seemed like we weren't in, and it really made my week when we got in. So I really, really hope you'll be joining us. Uh, with the, we're, I don't know, pretty great at drafting, I think. We're, we're both definitely drafting specialists, so I think this is a good place to come to get some advice on the new format. And uh, yeah, with that, it's time to fire it off. Mm -mm. Yeah, I thought being in the queue while you were spieling was, was reasonable. That did seem reasonable, yeah. Hmm. I think this hand is bad. It doesn't look very good. Yeah, I think we should just mulligan. Nice. Okay. I think our hand basically does nothing. Yeah. Okay, this hand is better. This hand looks much better. I don't know what we're supposed to talk. Well, this is, a, I'm pretty sure, is a keep. Like, it could just be Synthesizer. It could be Galblast. Like, Galblast doesn't look like it's going to be on quickly. Oh, that's true. It might be on eventually, though. Like, because, like... You know, Saga will make constructs eventually. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I think we're not supposed to tuck synthesizers, my guess, because we might need to hit a land okay. specifically. So I mean, I what if we just tuck bolt? Is that insane? Well, it's not insane. But like, you're saying, like, we might eventually want to face them for four or kill an X4? Yeah. I mean, that is plausible. I think we should tuck blast. Okay, tuck blast. I'm not confident. Um, but my guess is that our hand isn't that good to turn on quickly, and we might need to use all our removal quickly. Yeah. Like, if we're just playing against a deck that just, like, okay, is this scam? Maybe. That's an <laughs> ambiguous start. Well, it could be, so that there are some grindier red-black list people play. Yeah. With, like, less scammy elements closer to, like, red-black mid-range Blood Moon. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure which of those this, this is. Ooh, I like how bad Blood Moon is against their deck. I guess it kills Sagas. Well, I think actually that, 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 that I think that actually is a nice aspect of the deck. Honestly, is that most saga decks have to deal with being mana screwed and losing their sagas. And this deck, you're kind of in a bind where your opponent's playing a three mana blank that happens to answer saga, which I think is pretty nice. Um, I'm also still not sure this is scam, but anyway, uh, hmm. Well, I'm pretty down to slamble there in epic here. I that think that seems great. I mean, it's a little awkward because it like makes our Lutz slightly harder able next turn, but we'll probably be able, like bolt what they play in epic here and like turn yeah. on them. I'm not that worried about it. Um, B Bolter, basically we are pretty unfamiliar with the deck, to be honest. Uh, we don't have much experience with it at all. So we are, this is more of an experimental stream today. Uh, and so we are going to figure it out as we go. Yeah, like as far as the scam matchup goes, I definitely can see like this deck top decks pretty well, which obviously is a key element against scam. It's not too exposed to Fury. Okay, never mind. That's not what's happening here. Uh, okay, so that we're playing against a Jun variant of some sort. We don't really have enough information to discern which one at this time. Okay. Hmm. That's very awkward. Because we can't play this in light of the stage. Uh-huh. Do we want to, like, play Urza Saga and blood that away? 
Well, maybe that's insane. That seems aggressive. Unfortunately, the goy that's not even true. It's a 3-4. Yeah, the issue with the statement you made is that it's false. Um, <laughs> uh, I Wait, mean, won't, won't Bolt go to the graveyard and make Goyf shrink? I think we should, like, I sort of want to just take the level zero play of play slog, a play epicure pass, and then assess what we want to lead away at the end of their turn. Okay. Um, it's not a flawless line, but I think I like it. And I mean, I, I, I legitimately have no idea what I intend to blood away. Um, yeah. I guess my guess is just lightning bolts, mm -hmm. but it's complicated. I mean, what's appealing about looting away Lutz is that it there's already sorcery in the bin. Is uh, that's true. Um, and I think this is going to pull its weight as a card here. Okay. Um, I could be wrong, but... Okay, they are going to get on the warpath, which is probably what they have to do against a deck with as much burn as ours. Yeah. Um, historically, Jun vs. Burn has been close-ish. Um, I think adding Saga can, can only help, really. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if this deck's favorite against Jund. But can we get Relic? That's an option. Yeah, we can get Relic. Uh, I think I want to discard Bolt, even though it grows this. Uh, okay. I think this Lutz is going to pull its weight. Okay, great. Although now my intention is to make Saga tokens for a while. <laughs> yeah. I want to be clear that I've never heard it called Lutz before. Really? Yeah. Okay. Wait, so... Okay, that may have changed things. Well, I guess if we dash Rog, it will probably just be killed, though. Yeah. Because if we successfully hit them with Rog, we can, like... We can we could, like, dash Rog Lutz, which is pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, but they've got to have something, right? Yeah, they, like, probably will kill the Goyf. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm pretty down to just sit around and make constructs. Yeah. Mm -mm. I think the line of Dash, Ragavan, and Life Sage is close with the line of make construct, but I think this is slightly better. It really depends, like, on the balance of, like, basically to what extent do we think we have time. Yeah. Given infinite time, clearly max constructing is better. Yeah. But... The thing is, our time is definitely... We're somewhere in the gray area. We have, like, some time, but not infinite time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. So what is in their hand? Mm, I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> I believe in this matchup, as in basically every map... Like, to be honest, uh, I think if you if this deck didn't have DRC, I think it would almost certainly be right to play no fetches. <laughs> mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, they could have arbitrarily many Bud Elves, for sure. This thing's a 4-5 now? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we are at 11. 11 is is, is, is far from infinity. As much as I often wish 11 were infinity. What I actually think 11 is pretty close to infinity as far as numbers are concerned. Hey, Jaboodle2016, welcome to the stream! Thanks for the follow! Mm-mm. I don't like that Moto's chosen a random mix of mountain darts to put in my deck. It is but, insane. Uh, I won't worry about that. Um, I'll I just, see that you did not succeed at your in your goal of making all your mountains look the same. Well, I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. It's not really a matter of success or failure. It's a matter of a thing that I have plans to do that I haven't done. I disagree with the comment. 11 is closer to infinity than 10. I want to be clear. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's kind I, I believe that statement is empirically untrue. <laughs> <laughs> is what I would say about it. Um, yeah, so what's awkward here is that I don't think our deck has a spring leaf drum. Yeah. What I really want here is a spring leaf drum. I don't really understand why our deck doesn't have a spring leaf drum, to be honest. I think basically every saga deck can benefit from a spring leaf drum. Uh, but I think we should get Relic. Relic seems good. Yeah. And then, I mean, I think we just give him the beats. I mean, I don't know. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. I don't really... Wait, it's possible one should stay home? To chump? Yeah, but I guess we'd go to seven, they'd be like three bolts. Okay, that's not happening. Let's attack. I mean, they might have three bolts, or like bolt, bolt, land. I don't know. What What do we think's in their hand? But six could be a meaningfully different number than seven. Yeah, okay, okay, I agree. Have we seen the gruel version that Doomwake has been playing? Yeah, we have. I don't... I do not like it. I mean... 
again, I don't know this deck very well, so I might be wrong, but I, do, like, okay, I, do, I don't like putting Ren into decks where you don't even want very many lands. Yeah. Like, it seems very awkward to me. Like, I get... This thing's 5-6. Yeah, okay. So we, we, we're going to exile a card probably from our own graveyard to shrink it. Yeah. Um, so basically, like, Doomake's version is basically playing Ren only to recur Saga and Besaidu, and I just don't think that's an incredibly appealing plan, uh, <laughs> is, is, I guess, fundamentally my opinion. Uh, I mean, like, obviously you can do it. Ugh. That's bad for oh, us. Oh, dang. We should have held them back. Well, I still think the damage is pretty meaningful, so I think it's complicated, but yeah. it has not worked out, for sure. Okay, so I'm going to target ourselves, and I'm going to exile uh, Urza Saga, Makes which will move enchantments. Sense. I know that we have Delirium card, well, at least a Delirium card in our deck, but I think that'll just be fine. Oh, jeez. They bolt this to, to two here. But I guess if they do that, then they're tapped out, and then weakened Aphrog. Okay, it's not that bad. Renin 6 is a broken Modern Horizons card. That is true. Yeah, I want to dash this, I think. Okay. And I don't even really know what to do afterwards but do you want to just attack with it i think so that makes a lot of sense mm -mm. what's well, today's candle sponsor another returner to the stream we've got this beautiful red berry mandarin candle uh match matching our mono red shrapnel blast deck uh and uh it has notes of grapefruit and pomegranate from the target room essentials collection and it's honestly one of their strongest candles definitely top five and now it's gone Oh, where can I see the deck list? Type exclamation point deck in the chat, and that should give you the link. Yeah, it's 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 pretty easily available, I would say. Um, okay, so I think here, you got the candle you sent returned to sender. I was wondering why it never showed up. Oh, you forgot to put my name. Interesting. Anyway, now we're going to the newest addition to my candle collection, which is from a new brand of candles from Target. This is just the G candle. It's an alphabet brand. And this is the letter G for Greg. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice candle. No more details. Okay, so the question here is, should we cast Lutz? It's dangerous. It goes back out tomorrow. Okay, well, excellent. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> if we cast Lutz and we hit a land, it's much better than not casting it. Yes. But if we brick on lands, we will probably literally die. Okay. Because our opponent will dash rock and want to play any kill spell and kill us. Yeah. Our deck has like 20 lands in it. Five of which, four of which are gone. Okay, I think we should say go. I think we should say go too. It's really aggressive, I think, to cast lots. Hoping someone sends in the Baja Blast candle. I mean, look, you are welcome to send us any candle you would like. Mm. It's a very weird situation because now we have no life or time, but we have all this gas. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. Oh no. That is a uh, that is a uh, very concerning. Uh-huh. It's concerning, I would say, for many reasons. Yeah. Such I as pinging our creatures, pinging us. Really, all aspects of it are concerning. So, if our opponent dashes Ragamon, the question is, what exactly should we do? I guess probably just bolt the Ragamon and chump the Tarmogoyf. Wait. Why don't we shrink... Why don't we block... Ragavan and activate Relic, so Tarmogoyf is 0-1. Oh, I guess we could do that. It will immediately grow again, but I, I guess that's, that's okay. not that bad. Okay, I, I like your line. I'm using white mana for just for Greg. Ooh, there was the land. 
Okay, so now it's a one, two. Can we draw a shrapnel blast? Oh! I mean, that would literally kill our opponent, so it would be a good draw. Ooh. Well, I don't mind that either. Okay. Okay, so we can now bolt Tarmogoyf, right? Uh, yes. Um, we can bolt Tarmogoyf, and we can, like... So let's see. We, we bolt Tarmogoyf, we dash Ragamon and kill Ren, I think. I mean, that seems pretty good. I mean, it dies to another Rog. So it, it definitely has flaws. Yeah. But they have one card. It's probably just right. Like, I don't really know what their card is, but could easily still be a kill spell. Yeah. Like, playing this over their kill spell to kill our 1-1 one -one is extremely reasonable. Yeah. It could also just be like a duplicate Ren. Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm selling myself. I think bolting Tarmogoyf and attacking Ren is good. And I think doing it off this is good. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, wait. Can you... Wait, 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 wait. You can play Raghavan. Oh, no, never mind. That's too much mana. Yeah. It's one too many mana. Okay. Remember, playing Raghavan and dashing Raghavan and hitting them are the same always. Well, oh, right. I meant... I was trying to use Shinka. Oh, first strike. I, 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 I'm unclear what your plan was. I thought it regards, gave haste. With regards to using Shinka, but I believe it is likely ineffective. Uh-huh. Anyway, let's bolt Tarmogoyf. Nice. A classic bolt the Goyf play. See, chat, the thing is, the Tarmogoyf will grow to be 2-3. Then it will then it will be placed in the graveyard as a state-based effect. Nice. Um, Where it belongs. Oh, my God. Wow. Ari Zax has successfully suggested a format and deck for a future stream. Wow, what, what format and deck is he going to 7,000 points. Uh-oh. Modern Neoform with Bitter Ordeal as the win condition. Oh, that's no problem. That's right, right up my alley. Okay. <laughs> Okay, when are we going to play Modern Year 4 with Bitter Ordeal as the win card? I don't know. It has to be, There's a new set coming out. It might not be for a little while. Yeah. We'll, we'll play it soonish. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soonish. I think we might need to make that more expensive. <laughs> yeah, that is reasonable. Explain In your green storm. storm. Yeah, yeah that is that is a it is a reasonable thing to ask for explain. Also, this thought sees puts our opponent at a very low life total like state. Although that's extremely terrifying. Like, we probably need to, like, end the game in quite short order. Uh-huh. I guess, given they make toe tokens, it's not that terrifying. It's still a little terrifying. Okay, so that isn't lethal, sadly. It's almost lethal in many ways. But it's not, in fact, lethal. Um. Wait, That what, is lethal. Wait, what, what, do you, what do you mean it's lethal? Oh, wait, it just is. I'm an idiot. Sorry, we have Pirate Spell 1 plus this is just lethal. Yes. Oh, pff, they're at 6, yeah. The, the, answer, the answer is it's lethal because of reasons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, so I'm going to do this. We got we got there. They were at 8 a minute ago, and that's why it was confusing. No, what, it, what happened is, yeah, what happened is somehow both Greg and I thought our opponent was still at 8. Yeah, we forgot about the card Thoughtseize. Okay, so... I'm not certain how to sideboard against Gigi Jund, as it were. I suspect that we want to board in some number of additional graveyard hate type things. No, not that. The ones that the one that draw a card. Yeah. Um. I suspect we want to board in some of these things. And let's see, they're Rogma decks. So we can't really cut bolts. I don't like Pithing Needle against only Ren because I, I like I like want more for my Pithing Needle map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Lightning Bolt, I guess Lightning Bolt's a little awkward. It's not terrible. It's not great. I guess the question is, if I'm not cutting Bolt, what am I cutting? Lutz? Bolt Mat Courier? Well, I think finding a creature to, to yeah, okay, is pretty yeah, relevant. Yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, I've been really impressed by Haywire Might in Saga decks, partially because it's a one-mana one-one you can find. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, I mean... Like, if Bowman is cut in this matchup, it shouldn't be in the deck. Sure, okay. Which is a reasonable conclusion we could come to. <laughs> but I have not come to it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. So I think I think I just want to do this, is what I think I want to do. Okay. It's possible this is good here, too. But, eh, I bet we'll race them. I bet Artil's not under that much pressure that much of the time. Yeah. Mm -mm. Like, what if they simply don't draw a Tarmac Wave? Right? I, I don't know. And we have three relics too now, like. Agreed. Well, I mean, 
We didn't come here to mulligan this hand. Definitely not. I'm not exactly sure what we came here to do, but it wasn't mulligan this hand. <laughs> it was to five, it was to lava axe our opponent for two. Bigger numbers are larger than smaller numbers typically. Define bigger and smaller. Yeah. Like numbers. <laughs> well, wait, I can define some numbers if you like. Okay. Well, are you familiar with set theory? <laughs> I, I sure am familiar with set theory. <laughs> In the beginning, there was the empty set. <laughs> right. Then there's the set containing the empty set, or as some call it, one. One. <laughs> <laughs> How similar is this hand to Charmeleon? Not that similar. Hmm. Wow, a free Charmeleon ranking. They didn't even <laughs> give any points. <laughs> yeah, I do think one small flaw in the Charmeleon ranking is that I will rank almost anything unprompted. <laughs> but, you know, let's play DRC, shall we? Yeah. Well, I think one of the secrets is that <laughs> is that most of our uh most of our things we would do unprompted. Yeah, that is true, actually. But 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 certainly not Greg saying a mean thing about anything. That's true. I would never do that unprompted. Uh oh. Well, okay, that isn't great for us, but on the plus side we can just gal blast the ren. Yeah. Um it's not a perfect plan, but it's definitely our plan. Please change the candle sponsor? I did change the candle sponsor. Oh, you're asking me to do it. No 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 no. We'll not do that for free. Yeah, that, that one costs. <laughs> Gonna mute the words breach and slash green on Twitter. Love that. Yeah, slasher, I, I love that for you. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like what you should do. Uh, yeah, another of my concerns with this deck is the question: Is Den of the Bugberry scam? But mm. we may be about to find out the answer to that question. That's true. I what I will say about their Nepicure is like okay. So I think Flank and Harbinger is somewhat well positioned to modern right now because Rogwan is so omnipresent that random one bodies go much farther than they should. Yeah. So if that's true, then by the same logic, Epicure is well positioned, right? Yeah. Um, th that I do somewhat buy. Oh, God. I didn't want to drop a Met Cure here, I, I, I must admit. Okay, we, we need to scry, I think. Let's, let's take a look-see. Mm-hmm. That does not seem like we, what we'd like to draw. I agree. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I'm pretty sure it's not Voldaren Epicure. Yeah. Mm -mm. Fetches are just for Delirium, yep. Well, it's also for, it is, it is for your, also for Mr. Bobble. Like oh, we just right. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of nonsense going on. Mm-mm. I think we should we can trade for one with this. I think this can stick around. I agree. See, like, I will admit the current situation is a bit concerning to me because it, it does seem like this card is hideously good against us. Uh -huh. And although GG Jund is not a popular modern deck, that Pyromancer is substantially played, usually a four of its scam. Yeah. Yeah. See, it appears at the moment that we are somewhat deceased. Um things do not seem good. Like, I guess maybe I should kill this. I don't know. I mean, do we want to use it on them to activate the light of the stage? Yeah, I guess so. Or at least I guess maybe. Boy, that card sure doesn't do a thing. Yeah. Okay, let's do this, I guess. Nice. I mean, I just don't... It's hard for me to imagine winning from this point is the issue. I, I guess we need to, like, burn them out from a very high light title somehow. But yeah. that's going to be tricky to arrange. Okay. Or three shrapnel blasts and an artifact away from winning. Well, I think we true. just run this back. Sounds good to me. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, on the plus side, we can next turn like Epicure plus Relic plus turn on Gal Blast. Yeah. On the minus side, we are taking a million. Like. Doing that plan means not blocking, which means taking a full seven to eight. Mm -hmm. I guess eight is not dead on board. A standard to which I do like to hold myself. Yeah, I don't want to block.
Mm -mm. Look, chat, what you should do is just spam slash notifications with pictures of the card uh, bushwhack. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do we do now? Like, I sort of think we need to, like, live a bit is the issue. Like, I kind of want to play all our cards here. Okay. I mean, that means Gal's Blasting a Creature, probably. Yeah. Um, it's a little awkward for sure, but... Also, if we Gal Blast a Pyromancer... Yeah. Aren't they just going to then flash it back for five? That's true. Okay. Okay, wait. I have a proposal. I'm going to... Wait, should I attack with this? Probably. They're probably not, right? Oh, it's complicated. Uh... Okay, I'm sold. Okay. Yeah, you're right. They're gonna. They're they're probably going to. So what I'm hoping they they do is spend any mana at any point during our turn. Mm -hmm. And then if not, we guess we cannot gal blast. We'll have to gal blast them or a token. Yeah. So I'm going to move to end step, and then in the end step I can cast it. Yeah, I think I should gal blast a token. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but yeah. I mean, maybe. Yeah, no. I we just need to live. could hope they don't know what their card does honestly i think the second aired mesa should actually be a scalding tarn because it bluffs better oh interesting yeah like it's 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 possible the bluff equity is better than the fetch the fetch split equity to be honest um okay i'm gonna double block now i think why I don't know. If they want to spend five mana and make tokens with two cards in their hand, deal. Have you considered just taking it? Because you think our creatures have value? Yes. Eh, I guess they don't have that much value. I, I think this is right. Okay. I think if our opponent wants to do that, that's fine. Hmm. Oh, that was not clear to me, so I appreciate the clarification. Uh, what a mountain. Yeah, you know. Uh, do we want to play that mountain, or do we want to blood it away? I think I want to play Relic. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely want to play Relic. And sack Relic. We get to reveal first. Yeah. Okay, our opponent's going to respond by using Team Primary Sword, it appears. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. But we're not like Dobbs, I don't think. They have five things, we have three things, yeah. Yeah. And we have a 3-3. Three, three. Famously dominating the board. Although, wait, maybe we don't want to use Relic because... Because it... of returning off our Darcy? Yeah. And that's very reasonable. What is this card? Monastery Swift Spear. That's an insane art. Okay, we can do better. Yeah, I agree. What are your thoughts on splashing white in this deck for Sunforge, Esper Sentinel, and better sideboard options? I don't think this deck has virtually any interest in Stoneforge Mystic. Esper Sentinel might be good in this deck. I don't know. Um, but uh, I, I, yeah, I, I don't think I would, this deck would play Stoneforge if it could. Uh, Stoneforge is like a really slow and grindy card is the thing. I think I want to play the Mountain. Yeah, I think you might be right. Okay, I'm in. Okay. Mm-mm. Yeah, it, it may be bad. I'm, I'm definitely open to it being bad. The main thing I would say that I like about it is that it's a good magic card. In a deck that may may not have an incredibly high number of those. Like four? Well, certainly not four. <laughs> this is a multi-format all-star. I guess that's true. Mm -mm. Okay, well, that is not a show of strength from our from the enemy. Well, I'm pretty sure them playing six land like almost implies they're, they're pretty flooded here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you want to pay four mana for anything. To, to play Stoneforge, you have to pay four mana. I believe that is a fundamental aspect of the card. That's more or less my argument. Um, I don't like 
where this is going, per se. We could have done the Bomat thing last I turn. I kind of want to do the Bomat thing. I just want to discard it now, I think, at end of turn and draw the one card. Wait, wait. I think I might want to do the Bomat thing, by which I mean using it as a 1-1 one, one creature to block. Oh. As I'm pretty concerned about death. Well, me too, but how do you feel about blocking and then draw? Is, isn't a card better than their 1-1? One, one? I guess it is. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fair. Also, do you want to... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, we're not going to use Relic this turn because it's going to have a damage mark. Yes. Okay, yeah. Cool. Never mind. Yeah, these Relics are not currently at their best. That's what I would say about them. Yeah. In fact, I kind of would like to blow this one away. Uh, I think we should definitely do that. Dang. All right, so the thing is, our DRC has to attack. Yes. So we could shrink it, then it won't have to attack. That's true. Couldn't we, like, bolt them, attack them for three, draw a card, hope it's a good one? Oh, that's pretty appealing. Yeah, I think I'm in for that. Well, it's also pretty likely to be a good one because we get a surveil. That's true. Okay, I'm, I'm in for bolt them, attack for three, draw a card, hope it's a good one. Yeah. Mm -mm. That is complicated <laughs> um oh we did board out some bolts that's true well we have we, we, we have an artifact right here yeah i mean th this definitely stays because of galvanic blast i think it's not the third artifact though so it's a little awkward but yeah i suspect it still stays i think it stays it also gives us a surveil right uh yes I don't know if best possible is accurate, but it's 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 goodish. Like the best possible could definitely be a bolt or a shroud blast that would immediately kill our opponent. Yeah. Uh, but it, it's it's not bad. Okay, let's do this. Yep. Okay, let's do this. Okay. No real interesting cards that do not kill our opponent. Hmm. Well, we appear to have died. I guess if we had taken that with the plan to chump block the seasoned pyromancer, then we get to live. It's pretty mopey, but. Well, I mean, we also died on like almost every spell in their deck in that yeah, situation. Yeah, that's true. I think that is probably not... Like, I think they probably have enough cards that kill us that that is probably not the right play, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we're dead now. Yep. Um, yeah. Wait, I want bolts back in our deck. Okay, would you like to board out to Relic Fraternitas? Or what do you propose? Either that or Light Up the Stage. Eh, Relics, yeah. Yeah... I don't know that I believe in the re the relic plus DRC synergy. Actually, wait. Can we cut a book? Can we maybe maybe I'm off the bomet career. I like being able to get it. I think you you sold me on it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> uh. Nice. Oh, this hand is good. Look at how good this bomet career is. I mean, I think. Not that good, actually. But wow, okay. I mean, I think we keep. Yeah. I mean, I think I could keep and play Bowen on one. To be clear. yeah. I I just I I can test how good it is. Really. Um. See, the problem with Bowen Courier is that it hasn't been a magic a playable magic card outside of standard at any point in its entire existence. Uh huh. And I'm not too sure this changes that. But you know. Hmm. -mm. We should probably dash monkey. Dash it, dash it, dash it. 
I mean, did they play like Fatal Push? Yeah. Okay. I I I I I don't I don't believe that it's supposed to make me not want to dash monkey. I agree. I think it a bolt too, I guess, but Well Slasher, I'm currently unconvinced that the number should be one. But I think a lot of play is a very strong description of what happened. I, I was there for the whole thing. I don't think I agree that it saw a lot of play. I agree that some people sometimes Wee. played it, and I think they were probably wrong. Um, but, you know. So now, I think we should Lutz. I agree. It's a little awkward because we can't cast anything this turn, but I think it's still the right play. Yeah. Okay, those are some good ones. We'll cast those next turn. Yeah. Probably not even Ragavan. Probably just we will just spend all three of mana on de dealing our opponent six damage and producing a one one. Yeah. Stomping grounds. I mean, with this in hand, this is like, wait, they're very close to being dead. Yes. I mean, I will say that is something I like about this deck because I do like its damage output rate is very high. Hmm. -mm. Well, I'm also, to be clear, I'm also not sure that the right number of Shravna Blast is three. In the sense that that's, Shravna Blast is, is a good with Shravna Blast. It does seem like we want to draw it always. Yeah, I I am not convinced. I, I am aware that it requires you to have an artifact, but like, we're filling our deck with both Darren Epicure and, you know, Experimental Synthesizer so that we can play two mana deal five. Yeah. It's possible that once we're down that road, we should just be as far down it as possible. Um, I do think half measures are a bit dangerous, even though I understand their appeal. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, we do have another six. We just have lethal in our hand. That is correct. Nice. We will, we, we, our deployment rate isn't that quick, but we have lethal. Yes. And I mean, we're playing in Jun, so like, Thoughtseize could happen. Like, lots of stuff might happen between now and then. Sure. <laughs> Presumably our opponent poured this card in to deal with Urza Saga, would be my oh, guess. Oh, sure, okay. But it's not a very good magic card. Yeah, like, okay, Shroud of the Blast getting taken here, presumably. Okay, yeah, that has lowered our damage rate by a lot. Yeah, but if they also do, if they don't also have a way to kill the Ragavan, then they're in trouble. Yes. I guess the real issue here is that Voif is a problem, but... Voif is definitely a problem. I think that's just the world that we live in. Mm-hmm. And see, something I like about this deck, though, is like, okay, you know what would be the best draw in the world right now? Urza Saga. Well, I guess Shroud Moss would kill them. Yeah. But, <laughs> but like, it would be a very good draw. Hmm. This is a bit awkward. Because I kind of think we should kill this. By dashing at it? Yeah. That makes sense. Dash at it, play Epicure? Yeah. It's not... Wait, if, so if we hit them, I guess that they puts go to them down to five, five and we have four, four in, hand. in hand. Wait, maybe we should just attack them. And if they want to ping down our guys, who cares? Yeah. I'm going to dash at them. Yeah, I'm no, I, I, I'm, I'm sold, I'm sold. It, it became clear as soon as we started counting. Yeah. And what if their top card is like... Lightning Bolt? Ren. Ooh, ooh a, nice, a nice three <laughs> damage over three turns. Uh-huh. Wow, that is a good card against us. Glad we dashed. <laughs> it also is sort of a card when they ping down a Valdoran Epicure in the sense that uh, it means that Ren isn't picking up a land. Yeah. You, you kind of need to squint, but but there's a card there. <laughs> Ooh, a nice synergy with Ragavan and Blood Tokens. You dash Ragavan and then you discard it for the lethal burn spell. Ooh. For the record, I if anyone did chat here is unaware, I recommend playing four Ragavan in your modern burn decks if you choose to play modern burn. Yeah. Which is not a choice I'm sure you should make, but I would recommend it. Though to be clear, Andrew suggests that you play four Ragavan in your deck if you choose to play modern. That is to a first order approximation true. You could cut out a bunch of words from your sentence. 
I mean, that one's a little more complicated. I think there are solid modern decks that don't play Fort Ragafon. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm not saying it was making some sort of egregious error if they choose to show up with, I mean, today's decks we've streamed recently, Living and or Elementals. Mm -hmm. those, are, those are choices that you have given consent to your housemates to play. Yes. And I mean, I also think, like, there's some Solitude decks that are fine. Hammer's fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I don't, I think Modern is a bit more complicated than Play Ragavan, although it is possible that if I, like, that my, that I think the best three decks or something are all Ragavan decks. Yeah. But, well, I think Rhino's playing Ragavan is better than Rhino's playing Utopian Sprawl, and one of those two things we have, <laughs> we have played against on stream. So. It wasn't actually Rhino. <laughs> Okay, this hand I want to keep. <laughs> Instructions on clear tree. Yeah, love this. I mean, it, it, it is a one lander, but it seems all, fine. Yeah, all our cards cost one. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to play Rog on one, to be clear. Yeah. Yeah, you just play Rog on the living end, and then, like, if you if you hit it, you hit it, you know? Uh-huh. And if you hit it, that's a great card. Well, there's also the, the Rog on creativity suggestion. Yeah. See, it makes treasures. Yeah, we. that's a combo! <laughs> See... <laughs> See, and, and just make sure you don't if hit it. If you only have one in your deck, you're, like, pretty unlikely to hit it, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I love when they bolt themselves. Well, this might be Burn. Wait, but they've real Jagantha. I don't know what we're playing against. The mirror, but they splashed white like chat suggested? Could be. Ooh, Ooh the best draw on our deck. Nice. Let's attack for two, shall we? Nice. Well, that does sort of look like a variant on our deck, but whatever. We're yeah. going to play Epicure and play the stage, I think. Nice. This does seem like a good shelf Epicure. Epicure has looked pretty good in the games we're playing. I agree. Um, okay. I don't know if we should use this or not. I guess we probably should use it. Probably. Okay, well, let's take a look. Okay. Yep. yep, our deck went playing white. Okay. Yeah, it does seem like playing more colors is bad in the mirror. I'm not <laughs> sure how relevant to concern that is, but it is true. Hmm, our opponent didn't play a land, huh? Okay, well, given that, I think we should bolt it, pay one, and play rock. Sure, that makes sense. I don't want to give them a card if they're late yeah. white. Like, that seems ludicrous. Our opponent. <laughs> yeah. I mean, our opponent isn't going to win this one. Wait, if they draw a land right now, they could easily win. That's true. If I that's guess. a land, they could easily win. Well, what is Patrick Whoa. Tumble? Okay, they're a very different deck. I I don't know if they are, to be honest. I think they just think Patrick is good in the shell. Okay. And maybe they're wrong about that, but like... Ooh, Ragavan's so good in mirror matches. I mean... You didn't really need to add the mirror matches parts. But you just get cards that your deck wants to play. You don't get, like, weird cards that you're not interested in playing. That's true. Mm, yeah, we can play this. That makes sense. I mean, we could even play something else with the treasure token, but I don't know if we really should. I think none of those cards are better now than they would be next turn. Yeah. I guess the reason to do it is the free surveil. Yeah, but I don't even know if, like, if we saw a land, we'd bottom it or top it. Yeah, I don't know. Probably bottom it, but... It's close. Right. That, but given that it's close, I just don't care that much, yeah. is, is what I'm concluding. Okay, so now we can make our opponent exile a type with Relic. That's sweet! <laughs> I guess we can start with Synthesizer, maybe. I want to start with Synthesizer. But, yeah. Yeah. Mm, don't particularly want that. Nah. I mean, it's a little bit like wishing for more wishes, but... Nice. Okay. Let's make our opponent exile a type. Mm. Okay, they've had enough. Nice. So, in the mirror, I suspect we don't have much noise sideboarding. Shadow Sphere is clearly excellent. Oh, true. Um, Shattering Spree might be good. I, I'm not sure. I'm pretty unconvinced by that, to be honest. Yeah, I don't want this. It hurts us as much as it hurts them. Okay, true. Uh, is this good? I mean, I think it might be more less than four and not more than zero but i'm not sure uh i vote zero yeah like what are you actually blowing up with like blood tokens 
Well, like, or is this con- like saga oh, constructs? Saga constructs is real. Their shadow right? sphere. Yeah. They also showed us Patrick Automaton and Esper Sentinels. They have more artifacts oh, than we do. Okay, okay, okay. I, I suspect You've we want some. You've talked me into some. some. I definitely don't want more than like two. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's play two. Okay. Now, as far as bad cards here, we could. Hmm. Well, like, it's possible that we should cut. Hmm. Actually, I'm not sure. Like. Kill Spock. That's true. Like, okay. Also, you're a little off camera right oh, now. Oh, sorry. I wanna, like, no. Well, like, okay, what's our, like, we could try to cut, I'm not, I'm not sure we should cut a creature or a burn spell. I guess I think a creature. And I guess I think our worst creature into the mirror is Swiss Spear. Swiss Spear? Yeah. So I guess I propose this. God. Uh. Is that maniacal? It's, it doesn't seem it maniacal. It doesn't seem maniacal. I want to I do this. Okay, do it. I'm not sure it's right by any means. Like, I think I've not explained this deck. Good night, Nicole. I have not yet budged from a position of, I think we should consider playing four Shrapnel Blast. Ooh, I but, love the idea of four Shrapnel Blast from what I've seen so far. Ooh, this hand is very awkward. It's quite awkward. It's probably just a mulligan, is my guess. I think we should mulligan. Okay. This hand is much better. We should keep, and we should keep... Hmm... We definitely need to keep Mitra's Bobble because I think our second land is going to be key. Yeah, I agree. Light up the stage might just be too awkward. Wait, what about Bullmat Courier? Oh. Yeah, I'm down. Mm -mm. Nice. Dang, I don't like that that land, that they didn't have to bolt themselves to play that land. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. So that's also a reason not to pop our bobble immediately, but actually I kind of want a second red source. Uh, yeah, definitely. So I think we should just play bobble, pop it, and play up here, and we'll figure out less later. Okay. I guess I can do this now. Just just gain info. Okay, that, that informs nothing. Let's play up here. Yeah. Bobble is such a weird card. Yes. It's so weird. Like, do they know how weird it is? I mean, you, you know it's just a, a, a pseudo-reprint of Urza's Bobble. <laughs> which is, by the way, the weird of the two bobbles. I don't know what Urza's Bobble does. Oh, it, it's got a real nice line of text. You're in for a treat. Okay. The line of text on Urza's Bobble is tap, sack it, you do the upkeep next turn draw thing, right? Target opponent reveals a card at random from their hand. Wow! Okay. <laughs> it's a nightmare. That's, it, that is a nightmare. I'm going to attack for one. I agree. And then I think I want to light up some stages. Well, let's see if they block. There's no way they'll block. Well, Greg, what if they block? Did you consider the possibility they might block? No. Okay, let's light the stage. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well, we're definitely playing Saga. Whether we should play this is complicated. I think we should. I would. I really would like to draw third land before, like, on our next turn. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I think I want to take another look. Okay. Good to know our opponent has those two cards. So, what do we want to blood away, if anything? Well, yeah. I don't know. That that I think is is is, is the question of the hour. Oh, it might be that pirates fall. <laughs> That is definitely plausible. Also, I would like to state once again, I am not sold on the the, the, the lack of one spring drum in this deck because I feel like this game we might want to tutor for it again. Yeah. Um Yeah, I think this. Yep. Okay, well that's very awkward, but there's not much we can do to relieve the awkwardness. Um, God, I wish you could find Springleaf Drum next turn. It would solve so many of our problems. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think this card, this is slightly better than this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we did get an early, early access to Homeless Twin. The, the key, as it always is, was networking. Um, yeah, come watch us tomorrow! Come watch us draft! Mm -mm.
just one of the many gifts that being friends with lots of magic people has gotten yes. us. Arguably, persistence is an important part of it, you know? Uh, I think persistence was the secondary element of the primary I guess networking. actually what happened is I sent a bunch of emails and none of them mattered. <laughs> yes, I believe what happened is you sent three to four emails, none of them had any impact, then I got us in touch with the right person, uh -huh. and the problem was solved in hours. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. But, you know... <laughs> Dang. See, I think there's some sort of life lesson here. Yeah. I don't know exactly what it is, but I believe it exists. Okay, we're like deceased now, by the way. I understand that, yeah. It does appear that, like, we have a 1-1 one -one and they have a bunch of things. You know what card doesn't look very good, though? Patchwork Automaton. <laughs> oh, Patchwork Automaton I think is terrible, but... Yeah, you know what else? Does, like, I, I just want to find Springleaf Gem again. I keep saying it. I don't know. That's true, except I'm ready to concede. Well, if we if we if we drew Shattering Spree and could find Springleaf Gem, we could win. Ooh, that's true. Okay, we're dead. I'm off it. Although I guess sh drawing Shattering Spree there would have been really good. Well, yeah, we could play a third one. I could keep cutting monster Swiss beers, but I don't know. I was sad about our lack of creatures that game, though. I guess that's not true. And the can we mulligan? That was when we were sad about. Yeah. It did seem like they were maybe about to cast Expressive Iteration. I'm in for this. Do it. Mm -mm. Ooh, people are learning lessons. I assume from, from us. I wouldn't assume that. Mm. <laughs> you consider that we're very informative? Okay, well, I mulled to five. This is our five. Do you think I should mulligan? <laughs> yes. Well, I mulled to four. This is our four. Do you think I should mulligan? I'm going to concede the game then, okay? Yes. We just drew four hands and didn't find a single red source. Yeah. That's so brutal. Igneous Inspiration. I can't say I know what the card does. Wait, I know what Igneous Inspiration does. It's the three mana uh, bolt that learns. Oh my god, that's uh, <laughs> quite the card. All it's right, from Strixhaven. It's a really good. Um, you think we keep the four with no lands? We're on the play. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't believe that will that decision will meaningfully impact our win rate. Yeah, that is a good point. Uh. Bubble will not help us hit our first land drop. Yeah. I mean, I guess it will, but eventually. Do you have any lessons for chat? Uh, yeah, maybe a nice, you know, introduction to Annihilation. Mmm, that's a good lesson. Mm -hmm. I could have said environmental studies, but I, I, I wanted to go with a slightly weirder one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. hand seems good. Right? Yeah. I mean, we could just play a, a Darcy and, like, get off to the races. Yeah. Mm -mm. Basic planes. Mm -mm. Mm. That seems like it should be targeted with the card lightning. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Let's play second DRC first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hitting Delirium this turn, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Oh, I guess I should have cast this. Actually, I should have fetched first. That was foolish. Uh, whatever. Now I have to bin everything because I'm shuffling anyway. <laughs> My apologies. Now we've definitely hit Delirium. Mm-mm. So we do still need a creature or an artifact. But we have an artifact in play. Oh, yeah, okay. Do we want to draw that? We don't have any artifacts in play, so it's kind of just shock. I think no. Yeah. Wait, that seems good, right? Yeah, it's, it does seem good. I think it's fine. Yeah. Hollow Fountain, yeah. Okay, so I think this is just Blue White Hammer. Nice. Which is a stock and known deck. It's pretty decent, but... And we've been told it's a bad matchup. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, certainly some have said that. I don't really know for sure. I mean, definitely what we're doing right now looks good against them. Well, 
I think the biggest issue is that if your opponent equips Hammer to a thing, which is yeah. more or less what their deck does, yeah. you have difficulty defeating that. Uh-huh. Uh. Some are incorrect, says Slasher. Okay, but would Slasher say everything's a good matchup? As far as I know, yes. Okay. Slasher, name three bad matchups for this deck among the top ten modern decks. We gotta hydrate. Mm. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Alright, in that case, I will dismiss your opinion as to what is a good matchup. <laughs> That was your task. You have failed. Um, okay, well, Twinless Twin says Murktide, but they seem kind of biased. Yeah, I also can't trust Twinless Twin <laughs> saying that. Mm -mm. You're saying no to me, to that that Hammer is a bad matchup? Oh, okay, gotcha. That That's fine. Y Yawgmoth Rhino's creativity is an answer that I will accept. Nice. Okay. Mostly because all of those seem reasonable Yeah. as matchups that are bad. I mean, it's certainly true that what we're doing to our opponent right now is quite strong. Yeah. And that's not going to stop us. No. And just to be clear, they found Claw Hammer. Yeah, that's what, I th that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. So we actually know both those cards are in their hand. So they have three unknowns. It's, it's hard to imagine three unknowns beating us from this situation, where their opponent is literally dead on board, notably. Well, they're not actually dead on board. We need to resolve the shrapnel. Okay, fine, but I don't believe our opponent's white mana is likely to counter it. I mean, if they have main deck mana tith, then they're the superior player. Yeah, but now you have a Galv Blast. Right, so I can play around the main deck mana tith. That, that is key. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, our opponent has conceded from the so, game. So, these are all good here for sure. Yes. This is good here for sure. Okay. You name, like, Ink Moth Hammer when they have Pure Steel type of thing. Okay, sure. It does, like, a bunch of things. It's pretty nice. Okay. Um, Alpine Moon to name their sagas. This is one-sided. Oh, that's nice. Uh, we definitely don't want this. Um, we likely... Hmm. Now it gets a bit complicated. Mana Tith. See, this card is weird in this matchup. We, we like, could want it as a chump blocker. It's very strange. I don't know if we want this. I suspect that... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, my strategy with Ragamon decks is to not board out Ragamon. It's really good. It's, it's a very simple strategy. <laughs> See, the thing about Ragamon is that it's good. I think I'm going to cut this and... Cut light up the stages? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. I'm also okay with playing three Rogs on the draw. That's about as far as I'm willing to go. That's insane. I want to cut to Swiss Spear. Okay, I'm in. I sold immediately. Nice. Um. Yeah, I don't do that very much. I know that everyone else seems to like cutting Ragamons, but I think what people don't realize is that Ragamon is worse on the draw, but so is every magic card. That's true. And Ragamon is still very good. Like, when I was playing uh, Teamer Breach... <laughs> Great uh, answer from Twinless Twin. Don't like cutting it in a deck with Voldaire and Epicure. Well, it sounds like... Wait, what's going on? Uh, they just waiting for the second main phase to play their land for okay. reasons I, I can't really explain. Yeah. I've done that a couple times and gotten yelled at by you, so, you know. Yeah, I believe it was it was, it was it was deserved and just. Uh-huh. Would you agree? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I think we should play Epicure to try to set up a Shattering Spree, right? Yeah. So, what I would say about Rogamon is I cut one against Hammer when I'm playing Tear Breach, not greater than one. Okay. In fact, and, and that's... And, uh, yeah, in fact, Jesse and I talked about cutting more than one a lot. Uh -huh. And at some point, I basically was like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that's really my stance. Um, usually, Rogvon makes them block with a thing that matters, is what I would describe it. Like, the, the provoke is the powerful aspect. Hmm. So this is interesting. See... We could Shattering Speed their two artifacts. And what's appealing about that is it's very hard for them to reach Metalcraft next turn. Yeah. But it's also like we lose if they do. Yeah. So it's a and little they would awkward. Draw a card. We also could just Gal Blast the Pure Steel and pay one. That's true. Could also Gal Blast Pure Steel and let them draw. But wait, they have three cards in hand. Wait, I think we should Gal Blast Pure Steel and pay one. Okay. I think their resources are quite constrained. And I think we should do it not off Saga. I mean, we would like to delay making the artifacts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we want red. Yes. Okay. I mean, I don't know that we're going to get to Shining Sweet for three. We need to have, draw a mountain and have them play their artifacts for that yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah. But I want to at least have the option. 
What well, City's candle sponsor? We switched to the G candle from Target's Alphabet Collection. Uh, a nice new, the newest addition to our candle collection. Those who don't know, we're unofficially sponsored by the discount candle section at Target. And uh, at any time, you can write exclamation point candle to see what candle we have going for the day. Oh, although I didn't talk about it, but I think Italian for one is slightly better. It is close, though. Okay. Because, like, like for example, they could put a hammer on it. We could want to chump for 11, but we might actually want to take 11, to be honest. So that's how I landed on this. Yeah. I got to say, the G is a nice candle. It's a good one. W would you mind? Where would you say it would rank in some sort of candle tier list? Mm, like uh, B tier? Okay, let's shout and spree their two non Spring Leaf Gem artifacts. Okay. Do you want to MP the one off Saga? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there was no bull, no hyperbole. So Love I'm... new person in chat using the bully command. Oh, hey, Kai. <laughs> I did assume it was a friend of <laughs> a friend of Kai. Is this a scientific tier list? Uh, sure. Obviously. Okay, so my original targeted this. Okay, wait, wait, sorry. So first, a lot of things are going to trigger. We're going to pay one. Okay, yep. The original targeted that, so the copy, so there should be one of, will target Esper Sentinel. Cool. Nice. Now, they could save something with Blacksmith Skill, but I think if that happens, it's fine. Oh, right, because they have um, Spring Leaf Drum. Yeah. But, like, they have two <laughs> cards in hand. Like, I don't know. I just suspect we'll be okay. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure we want to make Construct next turn. It depends on what they do. I guess that makes me more inclined to make the construct on the whole. But wait, what is this? What is happening? Is, is, is my saga getting killed? Is this March? Is that that seal? No. Huh. So, okay, now we could just play Dragon Rage Channeler, play Spellbomb, sack Spellbomb on Giver Runes, and surveil. That seems pretty good. What, what are our thoughts on, like, dashing Rog here? Well, that's just going to trade for the Giver. Okay, and then we we don't want that. I think we'd rather trade Pirate Spell Bomb. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So I think I think, but I think the claim I'm really making is that DRC plus playing this is better than making a construct, which I think is true, but it is close. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'm I'm gonna do that. Okay. Next turn, I think we might want to make construct. So Bobble is kind of a good draw because it comes with a Zerveil. And it could grow the construct. You don't care? I don't think so. Isn't it just kind of like we're going to draw a card that we then can't play next turn, basically? Yeah. Uh, okay, we can bin it. Yeah, I do agree that never letting them on top of the creature is nice because you really don't want to let them actually get hammered onto something because that's hard for you to deal with. Yeah. Mm-mm. So, for the record, I've never played this matchup before in my life, but it's not obviously seeming bad to me. Yeah. Like, Shattering Spree plus a bunch of burn spells seems like a reasonably effective plan. Obviously, it, you could die at many moments, but... I mean, I guess we didn't know it was bad. We assumed it was bad because of all the Shattering Sprees. Mm-mm. Hmm. Excellent. Well, yeah, but, like... Okay, so I understand we could cast Rogue One there, but I'm, what I was really afraid of is our opponent playing Zagarda's aid and playing Hammer on a thing. Mm -hmm. Like going like, aid, Hammer on their guy. Yeah. And so I, the, pro the reason I don't want to hard cast Rogue One in that situation... Oh, you mean hard cast it over the DRC? Yeah. Uh, that's not unreasonable. Oh, Shattering Sprees are for Chalice of the Void, and they incidentally ranch Hammer. Does Replicate get through Chalice of the Void? Yes. Nice. Yeah... That's fair, although I don't actually think Chalice is actually that heavily represented. I mean, you, you should know that we, we basically just ignored everything Slasher said the whole game. It's, it's up to and including board out lava events. So That's true. You know, I think that there might have been a player diff, but it would be hard to claim that that player was Slasher. I think it's just me, expert modern player. Yeah, Greg is known for his, 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 his wide-ranging modern expertise. Uh-huh. I mean, Greg has won greater than zero matches of competitive REL Modern in the last week. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> One and two, baby! Yeah. 
took down Murtide. Ah, yes. Killer is offering the popular theory that if you have someone that's always wrong, they're an invaluable. Oh, that's true. That is true. Which, which, which is true. That, yeah. That, that's definitely that's definitely a reason why you went to Killer I, I, yeah. I do respect that. But this I have... is why I stream with Andrew. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, the common Andrew L comes back around. Uh, yeah. Man. Yeah. Okay, this person was apparently playing what I assume to be Scam 27 days ago. Okay. Based on saying BR, I assume that means Scam. Yeah. But it could it could mean, like, Blackbird Mitch. I guess I could click on this link and learn in seconds. That's true. Um. Oh. What? Okay, this is some bizarre and strange deck. It's a persist deck. Yeah, it's like a persist mid-range deck. I, I'm not going to worry too much about this. if Because if, that was 27 days ago. Anything could have happened since then. Yeah. If we are playing as persist mid-range, then we're about to learn some valuable lessons about the persist mid-range matchup. My main feedback so far is I am not sure that this deck is allowed to have Relic and Darcy in it at the same time. That's my other commentary so far. Yeah. It, it, seems, pretty pro it seems pretty problematic every time. Uh-huh. Mm. It does seem good against uh, living... Wait, sorry. I have to fix this. So, for the record, if we think this deck... If after this stream we think this deck has potential, which which we, which, we, which we may or may not think. Yeah. But if we think that, we can then assess whether we want to do any work on it. Okay. Because I suspect there is some work to be done here, but we can decide not to do it. We yeah. can decide to leave it, leave, leave it for others. I love the combo of... Um... Oh, hey, Clay. How's it going? Mm-mm. -mm. Uh, I love the combo of uh, Voldaren Epicure and um, uh, Springleaf Drum. You mean Vol Springleaf Drum not in our deck? Yeah. Voldaren Epicure was made to bang on a spring Springleaf Drum. Oh, yeah. My two pieces from deck so far is I would like to play Springleaf Drum and I would like to play Four Trap in the Blast. Okay, yeah. Uh, but anyway. Um... This guy is a Moto Legend inventor of Mardu Pyromancer with Faithless Leader. Wait, wasn't that Jerry T? Am I, am I, am I, am I mistaken? Was JT the popularizer, but this person invented it? That, that like, could be true. I, I have no idea who this person is, but I, I may or may not know. I, I knew the Moto Legends, like, circa seven years ago, is what I would say about Moto. During my peak Moto days. Mm -hmm. yeah, the other problem I've observed so far is that Saga... Oh, jeez. That is concerning. Okay, they didn't discard... <laughs> Archon. I am less concerned. Nice. So I believe our strategy should be to beat down as quickly as possible by playing the two guys. Nice. I love the two guys. Also, I have a follow-up question. If you were the inventor of Mardu Pyromancer with Faithless Looting, would you say that that's, like, a credit or a blemish on your record? I think it's sort of debatable. Because, like, the problem with that deck is it was, like, the sixth best fading Faithless Looting deck or something. But. Ooh. Pensar asks, trying to get back into Pioneer, do you have strong opinions on what decks are good in the format? Tried Lotus and the deck felt tough post-gourd post -gourd as people are now ready for it. Yeah, I can give you my the decks I like in order. I like Mono White, Gruel, Angels, and uh, just straight up Black Red Mid in that order. Yeah. Um... So I recommend one of those four decks in roughly that order. Yeah, and if you want to play something like green, blue, white control, lotus field, those are all reasonable check choices, I think. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I think the format is like pretty wide open. Like, I don't think that it's like, you know, there's few decks I think you'd register right now that, that would say you were dead wrong for playing. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, those are, those are my top four decks in that order. And you can do with that information what you will. Yeah. And notably, uh, if you want, you can head to the System Magic YouTube channel at this link and find some of our recent Pioneer streams. Notably, I just updated all of our, um, all of our playlists on YouTube. So if you want to go to the uh, Modern playlist, you'll find all our Modern matches. If you want to go to the Pioneer playlist, you'll find all our Pioneer choices. Uh, and so that could be, uh-oh. Ah, uh, we appear to be deceased. Dang. That's unlucky. I'm going to sack this. Yeah. How do you feel about Rakdos sack these days? Um, I think it's playable. I actually think it's in a better spot than it's been in a long time. I don't think it's, like, incredible um, or anything. But, uh, yeah, I think it's solid. I'm going to concede. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Um, yo, like, Rakdosak, okay, I can talk a little about this. Wait, first of all, we did born in Orphar. Uh, yeah, makes sense. So, and then I guess, like, Soul Guide, Relic, Relic, probably? Yeah. Probably nothing else? And then do you want to take out Darcy's? Oh, because we're boarding Relics? Oh, I don't hate that at all. I mean, it is just a really good card. Like, And we're, like, trying to beat him down really fast, and it's pretty good at that. Well, that's true. Well, I guess, like, it might be... Maybe this is not a Let's matchup? Yeah, Let's doesn't seem great. Okay, mathematically perfect two DRCs. Thoughts? Uh, I'm in. Okay, sounds reasonable. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, so here's the thing. I think that... Well, first of all, I don't think it's clear that Black Red Sack is favored against Angels, so I wouldn't... I would, I would be concerned about that. Um... But I do think it's quite good against Mono White, white and I do think the Athens of Green is pretty real. Jeez, I don't know whether to keep this. Uh, uh, I want to keep it. Yeah, I guess we just do. Nice. Fuck it. Um, <laughs> Wait, why would you not keep this hand? Well, I really don't want to have one land. But, you know, like, Ragavon doesn't usually just live. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, Red Black Sack... Okay, so here's what I would say, though. Green isn't, like, dead. Like, green is less popular than it's been a long time. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, like, green is currently in its heyday. But, like, you also shouldn't go to a Magic tournament with Red Black Sack and expect to never face green. That said, its win rates are pretty high, and it is good against most, like, non-green things. So I think it's, like, very reasonable to play it. Okay, um, I don't see a reason to do anything now. Yep. I like that two of our opponent's persists are gone. But well, we also just have Orvar. Would them persisting be bad or good for us? Well, I don't know. It looked like from the deck list that we pulled up, they had other things to persist other than uh, other than Archons. Okay, well, there's an Archon. Yeah, I, I hope they cast Persist on it. Uh huh. It. Ooh, wait. Let's just bolt. Wait, let's just play Swift Gear Bolt. I love Swift Gear Bolt. And I mean, if they mill over a non Archon thing, we can then play Relic, I guess. Although we can't use it so yeah. i guess we probably won't do that they did not i don't suspect they have targets other than relic in against other than uh, archon in against us would be my guess yeah. oh hmm i'm down to cast their darcy love it uh well this is going well yeah i think if Clarma, I think if you like Red Black Sack and it's like you feel confident about it in the format, I think it's a very reasonable choice. That's bad. That's very bad. Well, I think it's... I think it's only bad, not very bad. Okay, fine. Um, so let's do this and play Relic. Yeah. It does expose Relic. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. I still want them to make that. Okay. I mean, right? Yeah, that's true. Mm-mm. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, okay, I guess if you want to name... Oh, geez. Um, well, that's extremely bad. Well, we... I do think that they're just going to breach Persist and get Archon. Well, they get to cast Mishish Bob a lot of times before that. Oh, right. I guess I'll respond by having them exile a card. Yeah. But that's all I can do. Mm-mm. Wow, it, Breach is a messed up magic card. Yeah, I mean, them Archoning is the best thing that could happen to us here. Yeah. But whether or not we win following that, I don't know. This game's going to get supremely weird. Now, they sack the Archon, they go to 11. I mean, I guess if they're tapped out, maybe it just doesn't even matter they draw these cards, they just die. Oh, yeah, because we get to attack with Archon and then Shrapnel Blast, the Relic. Yeah, 9 plus 5 is more than their life total. Nice. So I guess they, I guess we do just win regardless of how much we should follow like they do, as it yeah. turns out. Uh, just, a, just a classic Orvar moment. 
I mean, I think this is quite a good Orvar deck because you're pressuring them very hard, so it's hard for your opponent to just, like, not go for it. Yeah. And, like, threats that aren't Archon are kind of awkward against you because, like, like let's say you make an Iona. I know the next mono red. Yeah. But I think a pretty real concern is that you make an Iona and your opponent immediately attacks you for lethal. Yeah. Um, and that, like, sort of thing makes you really want to get Archon because it stabilizes the board and gains life, which forces you to play into Orvar. Yeah. Like, every aspect of the deck basically makes you want to play into Orvar. Um... What, the right number of Orvars, I'm not sure. I honestly could imagine more than two. Uh, yeah, you can have all the cards that you would like. I like, we even beat Slaughter Pact. <laughs> I do like that we beat Slaughter Pact. Mm -mm. God, Azax redeeming this Gravestorm thing is going to... I know the deck he means, I believe. I believe its Wincon is insanely convoluted. Uh-huh. And requires... A, a completely unnecessary number of clicks. Okay. Like, it's like after you draw your deck with the Neobrand thing, uh -huh. you like, there's a loop involving endurance that you use okay. to build the storms that you can gravestorm them. It's, it's, it's something. I'm, I'm not looking forward to that particular uh, stream, I would yeah. say. <laughs> but I'm willing to do it for the, for the points. For you the know? points? Yeah, they did, they did redeem some points. All right. Hmm. I mean, I think our deck is flawlessly constructed, really. Yeah, I agree. Like, I think the worst card is likely Galvlast. We have yet to deal four with a Galvlast, by the way. Fun yeah, fact. I'm aware of that. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, do you think Galvas is better or worse than Lutz? Because they're kind, their plan B is kind of grindy. Oh, yeah, because they're because of... Like, what about, like, this? I mean, I guess that's really a really weird split. What, what about this? It seems sane to me. Yeah, I guess so. You don't, you don't think so? No, I, it just feels weird to take out Galvas because it's, like, the card the deck is... The deck is made around. Well, this is the card deck's made around. Well, okay, yeah. It's called Seven Blast. Okay, you want me to put some back in for... Maybe maybe two DRCs and maybe like... Wait, I still like DRC. I know there's anti-synergy. Okay, how about my book for one Gal Blast, two DRC? Fine. I ran the numbers, Greg. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. it's, it, it, it's, it's solid. Well, yeah. So far, we want more Shrapnel Blast. Yeah, I'm not sold on that. But like... Okay, wait, to, 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 to circle slightly back to the Red Black Sack comment, so, the, so like, green is definitely less popular than its heyday. I still stand by that. I, I think this is a cube. Yeah, I agree. Um, What I will tell you is that in the last Pioneer RCQ that I played, I played green twice. Yeah. And I don't think that's some sort of, like, crazy anomaly, you know? Like, I'm not saying that I think that green is, like, not much less popular than it once was, but you're, you're going to play green. Yeah. I mean, that's the reality. Then again, I think Red Black Sack can beat Green. It's a bad matchup. It's like 40%, but like you can win. So I still think Red Black Sack's in a decent place. Um, well, let's play Rog, I think. Yeah. And it's kind of nice because if they, if they kill it and attack, then we just dash the other Rog. Yeah. And I mean, this situation's a bit interesting because, like, you know, Light of the Stage is not a combo with Orvar. How do we feel about the mono white, mono white versus red black matchup? Um, I trust the data. And what does the answer. data say? The data says fifty three percent mono white. Yeah. Uh, I think just Swiss Fear Volt. I like Swiss Fear Volt. Hmm. Mm. So wait, I I hear people say this that Pioneer is weirdly rock paper scissors y. And like to me what that means is there are a bunch of matchups that are like 80-20. And I don't feel that way at all about Pioneer. Yes, every matchup for every deck in Pioneer is winnable. Yes. I think is an accurate comment. Uh so like 
Like that doesn't mean decks don't have good and bad matchups, but there's like, it's 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 on average pretty unlopsided. I would yeah. say. Like. I mean, certainly some decks are favored against other decks, and but that's magic, right? Like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, basically, I think if you think Pioneer heals Rob me, my, my my I think a, a reasonable question is relative to what. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm aware of the, the I am aware of what people claim their issue with it is. I'm not sure I agree or believe them. Yeah. Um basically, here's my question. Currently, what is the most play draw dependent format in Magic? I claim it's the one with Ragavon. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. That's my opinion. <laughs> and I am gonna I play the Lynn. Uh I'm not, I'm not sure that, like, like, another thing is, like, see, I think what people actually reacting to in Pioneer is there are some matchups that are very plot dependent, but I don't think that's true of the format. Like, for example, literally anything against Red Black Midrange, which is the most popular deck in the format, is not very play draw dependent, right? Like, that seems like it's a pretty strong... Wait, wait, wait why are you playing this? Well, we, I don't have been playing in case they're trying to persist stuff. Oh, right, okay. Because it sacks for zero decks. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. And I guess I'll exile a bottle while I'm at it in case it breaches. I understand they still have one. Okay, wait. I was going to say we should exile the thing they have least of because of the Lyrian. But yeah, you have two. Oh, I guess you're just like okay. land? I no, don't know. No, that's silly. That's silly. That's silly. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, like, I don't know. I've heard the Reptus' complaint. I mostly just think that's true of magic yeah. these days. Like, as threats get stronger, things become more player dependent in general. I don't know that Pioneer is even above average, given that Red Black Mary is the most popular deck. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, if your opponent plays Ragavon and you're forced to pitch Solitude to it, that sucks. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I get that you can do that. And yeah, that's better than Ragavon living. But it's still really bad. <laughs> like, I, I I don't know how strong an argument that is. I guess what I would say. It is an argument. Okay, I think I want to play this. Agreed. And then... Depending on what we hit, we either, like, play some stuff or maybe Construct. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty down to bolt this, I think. I mean... I guess that's just, like, I guess that doesn't make sense. Yeah. I guess we just make a Construct. I want to make a Construct. Okay, I'm in. I, I was sold immediately upon reflection. Nice, okay. Um, I'm also going to crack this main phase um, because it means that our opponent cannot kill Sovereign in response to us fetching. Oh, yeah. Which okay. almost never comes up, and it's probably pretty hard to do in those colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, basically, I think that what people are really responding to when they talk about Pioneer being play draw dependent is, like, specifically Mono Green is aggressively play draw dependent and, like, one of the more, like, disliked decks that i think is true but i just don't think that the format as a whole really has that problem um what is this i don't know let's make construct and block yeah like i guess they have another k command maybe okay that makes some sense i still want to block block i'm just not that afraid of it is the thing yeah Oh, I, Mac, I don't agree with that. Uh, I think that I win a lot of games on turn 100 with Mono White, is what I would say about it. Okay. I guess Thalia is someone played draw a card. Okay, I'm going to excel their thing. Oh, anyway. that's really awkward because our construct dies, but yeah. There's oh, that's what that. they were baiting us into. Yeah. Okay, well, good beats. What do we want to get? No idea. Um, I guess maybe Pyrite Spellwalk to clear the way for our stuff. Oh, that makes but, sense. Although, although, yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. The other the alternative is like 
how scared are we getting persisted like quickly here uh, we could just get relic and try it like with two relics they're like never gonna have a bin yeah like i don't think that's crazy i kind of like it okay do it mm -mm. and then my plan is just to play relic and then play one of our things okay i don't know which thing i guess just epicure question mark yeah, that would make sense. Mm -mm. Man, Den of the Bugbear might come in here. <laughs> like, to be honest, okay, I guess I'll make more arguments regarding Mono White, because I don't actually think Mono White's that player dependent. I think what Mono White really does in Pioneer is it exploits the fact that many other decks in Pioneer are not very consistent. Yeah. Like, other decks tend to, like, have... Like, this actually doesn't apply to Red Black Midrange, but it applies to many Pioneer decks. Like... Mono Green has some future draws, like Grease Fang has some future draws, like Lotus Field does nothing sometimes. Like, there's a bunch of decks like that, and I think what Mono White does more than anything else is exploit the hell out of that. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I I don't know if we should offer the raw... I guess well, the raw trade's fine. We should probably just offer the trade. I mean, they will just make two things. Well, no, they won't. Oh, no, wait, they can respond to this. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. Right? I mean, I don't know the no, wording it doesn't. of this card, it doesn't. but... It doesn't. It's a cost to exile it? Yeah. Yeah. So okay, we should just attack for four. I'm going to just attack for four. Whether or not we should play the Ragavan, I don't know. I think probably we should. Yeah. I think it's getting a bit cute not to play it, especially because we might animate Den at some point. That's true. And, like, we're kind of just playing a long game here, right? Like, they're never going to be able to do their thing. Yeah. And we can just hang out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Welcome to System Magic, where we hang out. And I mean, I guess I think Grease Fang is pretty player dependent for whatever, for, for, you know. That's a great suggestion. I would play a lot more Pioneer if we followed your suggestion. I would like to sack a Relic to draw a card. And shrink our Construct? I kind of just want to untap. Oh, I forgot about shrinking the Construct. Okay, untap. Oh. Nice. All right. Well, that works. Uh, let's, let's, let's attack, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I think Grease Fang is pretty play draw dependent in many matchups. That I yeah. do agree with. Um, I want to send in the Epicure too. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what we're playing around, but I'll just do it in the most, you know. Uh, no rush, you know? Yeah. Well, now we can kill them and then kill them in response, which is nice in case they do anything. Yeah. Uh -uh. Wait, ex can you exile their thing? Oh, I sure. I want them to use five mana. <laughs> that's right. No, that's a good line. You're right. And then they'll two fresh lands up. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, this is so unnecessary. Like I know that what I just said was unnecessary, but <laughs> cancels us on Twitter for slow rolling. I don't, we don't know what they're have. They're playing a non-stock deck. <laughs> yeah, we definitely they definitely could have anything. If our opponent <laughs> fetched for green and cast Weather the Storm, I would say that's in their range. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but you know. Also, I also hope they cancel Andrew on Twitter for slow rolling. Honestly, I hope they cancel me. I've never been a main character of Twitter drama. I guess when I won the Black Lotus, I, that got a lot of likes. Yeah. Hmm. I, I believe if we, if our opponent attempts to cancel us, I don't believe their canceling of us will resolve. Yeah. I believe that the person who casts last word will be us. Nice. Um. <laughs> what if they clip this moment of us talking about how we should be canceled? Me saying, I want to be canceled. Ooh, today's main character slot is already taken. Have you considered that there's only one more minute left in today? Yeah, the, the slot is about to reopen, but yeah. I believe... Wait, so exactly, are you referring to uh, Slater's alt, who I, which I believe is the main character of today, but I could be wrong? Uh, yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Oh, I saw I, some stuff about this and didn't know what they were talking about. So. I, I, I wouldn't say that Slater was the main character. I would say an account that is widely believed to be Slater. Mm, I see. What was, was the main character, but I will not get to discuss the details of this time on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Even though often we do love discussing magic drama on stream, today is not one of those moments. Yeah, I don't think it's that interesting. Uh, and I also think Unlike it's not other that... magic drama. <laughs> and I also don't think it's... It's, it's a bit mean, so I'll, I'll oh, okay. refrain for now. Okay, okay, okay. Um, As you know, I don't like saying mean things on this stream. <laughs> yeah, I know. The, see, Azex, you could have redeemed so many Greg saying mean things for that 7,000 <laughs> channel points. 
Just, just think about it. You'd like make Greg fire off a mean thing. He'd have to tank for a long time, and then you could just immediately fire off another one. Like, yeah, only three. I mean, three is like a year's allotment of mean things for Greg. Like, I, I, I don't think you understand. Uh, and hey, Jason, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for the follow. Also, I think this deck might be good. This deck feels good. Shadow yeah. Blast feels messed up. <laughs> yeah, I would like to play at least four, maybe as many as five or six. Are there, wait, is there a fifth or sixth one? No, but I would like to play it okay. if, if there were. I don't know, maybe there's some weird, weird other stuff. I mean, not unless you want to try to play like many weird colored lands and tribal flames, there's not more. Ooh, tribal flames are nice, but I don't like weird colored lands. Yes. I it is concerning to me that channel points have only been up for one week and someone was already able to redeem the highest reward. Well, I told you they were too, the rewards were too low by like... 7,000 is so many! No, it isn't. I, th I, I think they still might be too low by like a factor of 10. Yeah. Um, I do like that Sunbear Tribal just makes us hydrate frequently. Yeah, I do appreciate that. Although I'm actually out of water right now. Oh, so if there's, an if there's another want... hydrate, I won't have water for it. Okay, yeah. Not by a factor of 10. Uh, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, you can see chat going, stating here they have, like, hundreds of thousands. Yeah. So, there is that. But yeah, you know. okay. Please don't change the price until you get to see. The other thing is everyone's rushing to this 7k <laughs> price. We're gonna have to do so many insane things. Yeah. I, I don't know how... I, I have mixed feelings about that. Um, okay, so... It does just say... Well, for the size of your channel and the amount you stream, 50k should be the absolute highest. You've been addicting to making us drink water. I mean, we love that. I think I'm just going to gal blast this before it grows. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, I agree. So, okay, the other issue is that when I made the suggest a deck for a future stream, I kind of thought people would, like, not troll with it. I thought they would, like actually suggest decks that they want to see and learn about from two experienced competitive players. Yeah, that's insane. You've clearly never been on the internet for a single minute. <laughs> you should know that I'm, I, I'm innocent and I think the best of people. <laughs> you can see Chow really backing up my assertion. <laughs> I, I immediately, the second people started talking about it, I immediately... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I immediately knew what was going on. I immediately saw the errors and error in my ways. <laughs> I appreciate chat just roasting Greg over the coals here. Ugh. You wanted to see two talented players pilot your pet deck. Yeah. See? Azax is using it fairly. He's using it. Fairly is, is, is undetermined at this point in time. I think we just Darcy and bolt it. Yeah. I also appreciate that we played Jinko the Plutso Keep as our first land. Yeah, you know. Mm -mm. Yeah, so this is, I think, a five-color zoo variant. I don't know what it means that our opponent played basic force on one, because that's, like, very not good for this deck. Wait, that's decent here, because we kind of need artifacts for this, and we kind of want to surveil. Yeah, I think yeah, we yeah, want I like this. it. I like it. I guess if we bend it, we would... It's a type in the yard, but I think we still top it. Yeah. Because it might be more types on top, in some sense. Right? Like... Mm -mm. Also, everyone's gonna ask for Zurzu. <laughs> yeah. If two people ask for the same deck, we're only doing it on one stream. <laughs> I, I would like chat to know that I have begun to let percolate in the back of my mind some Zurzu lists. Alright? I'm not saying they're ready for prime time yet, but I'm working. I want to just do this and this, even though it means not dashing rog. Okay. But I'm pretty interested in like getting max value out of our Darcy and Synthesizer and stuff. And our deck is, like, all one drop, so casting this one mana left is pretty okay, I think. Yeah. That seems baddish. I want to bin it. Uh, you have to give us a Neoform list. Instant land... Okay, I... See, this card is good-ish, but it's also a sorcery in the bin. Well, also, wait, there's some concern that if we keep it on top and synthesize her into it, they're then going to kill our Darcy. And oh, wait, that's track. huge concern. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm off it. When you say some concern, yeah, you mean it's a critical and very unacceptable happen, concern. Yeah. Well, it happened. Okay, well. Let's attack. 
Do you want to play Scalding? Well, I guess I can play Scalding Tongue first. Yeah, sure. I don't. Do they have any like flash threats or something? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I don't think so, but you know, who the hell knows? Is my general response. Oh wait. Also, if they kill our thing, we could Desperation Gal. Like, if they shock it somehow, we could do a Desperation Gal blast on them to try and trigger. Uh... That's true. Um. I mean, do we want to do that? Do we, like, so, like, okay, what types do we need? We would need to bend creature or artifact. Wait, except it won't survive. Oh, it's a bolt. I'm sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> I was thinking it was a, an unholy heat, but it just wasn't. Uh, oh, does forcing X and limited count? Uh, I'm willing to force yeah, something I think yes. within reason, yeah. is what I would say. Like, you can't name a deck that, like, no one has ever drafted in the history of the format before. Yeah. But, like, if, if you name, like, a, a sum... Like, like, let me put it this way. Let's say we were drafting Innistrad, right? Uh-huh. If you named, like, Burning Vengeance or Spider Spawning, which are, like, decks that, like, are hard to get into but not, like, impossible. Yeah. Like, I'm in, we'll, we'll do it. But, like, if you name, like, you know, Ludwig's Abomination Control, which is a rare, to be clear. Yeah. Like, okay, we can't reasonably do that. Yeah. So, like, I am willing to accommodate force requests for that redemption within reason. Yeah. Zero Zoo in DMU Limited. We just have to keep drafting until we get Zer. Yeah, see, th that sounds Also, I have an insane question about Zer Zoo. Uh-huh. Is that the Zer? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of open for interpretation. Okay. Okay, let's attack. Yeah. And I don't really have a plan B after that. I mean, we might sack this, to be honest. Yeah. Which is very good if we hit a land, but it's not very good if we hit a spell. I mean, I assume they're reading Leyline Bound here. That's what I would guess. No. Okay. Yeah, let's sack. Yeah. It's not max value, but it seems like the play. Yeah. Hmm, we hit Ragavan. Unlucky. Awkward. Well, we have seen a lot of cards on the top of our library that we've been unable to cast. Yeah, I mean, that is kind of why, I mean, we still have Hey, Fear Smith, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for the follow. But, I mean, we still have two cards in hand, a thing in play, and they have two cards, right? Yeah, like, we're not even true. really behind. Okay, I mean, immediately that isn't the greatest draw here, but... Oh, Gigantha Time. That's a good point. It could be Gigantha Time. I think it's not quite Gigantha Time. I think I'd want to play Epic here first, but I understand that could be man inefficient, but I just don't care that much. Yeah. I guess that's another thing that can be granted first strike by Shinka the Blood Soaked Keep, huh? Well, it's also a thing that can be discarded to a blood token. Ah, uh, good point, yes. Um, <laughs> I believe its primary purpose in this deck is to be discarded to blood tokens. The to real Zurzu was the friends we made along the way. Just coming up on Gigantha Time. Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll say, like, after the, like, third redemption of the 7k thing, I'm moving it up. I think that's a fair threat, you know? That sounds fair. Yeah, I'm moving up by a factor of about, you know, five. Yeah. Okay. It can be, like, 35,000, yeah. Um, that's, a, that's so much, though. Greg, you keep saying numbers are so much, and they're not. <laughs> Again, people have hundreds of thousands of points on Jarvis' stream. Yeah, okay. If Jarvis had this option, those people could control every deck he ever plays for the rest of his life. Okay, yeah, I guess that's true. It also just says suggest. We don't have to do it. Well, that's true. <laughs> but the thing is, we will do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. The details say you have to do it. <laughs> Actually, I, I don't remember that. That's probably true. What is our point? Is it one more target samurai token? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got samurai token opponent. <laughs> I'm not going to play any burn spells here, I think. So how much damage would it be? It would be five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, don't do it. Yeah, the answer is, like, decently far from lethal. If it gets moved up before you get Zerzu, you're going to make us play the... Uh, we can also just remove it. If it gets too annoying, I'm removing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should know that... So, okay, LSV... <laughs> yeah, the stream has been scheduled. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, a new set's about to come out. We're not playing super weird stuff right now. We're going to play the new set. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that...
that I am willing to... Azak's request also does somewhat entertain me. Yeah. So I am willing to do it. I, I'm going to do it on a, on a delay of reasonable length. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I do wish we had played all our brand spells last turn now, but so be it. Yeah. I don't want to play them in a turn, I think, still. I want to untap. Yeah. If we draw Shadow Blast, they're already dead. If we draw Bolt, they already die. It doesn't seem to matter in most yeah. scenarios. Hey, can I read Scion of Draco? It's a 4-4 four, four flying with oh, okay. some flavor text. Okay. So we could play Mishra's Bobble. Yeah. And Alpha. Yeah. I guess that's just pretty good, huh? If they block the Epicure... Then we have Lethal, so we have dead. nothing. Yep. And if they have something, then we lost an Epicure. It's not that big a deal. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm in. And... For the record, this... Okay, this Galblast has seriously yet to be better than Lightning Bolt. Uh, that's true. It's been worse repeatedly, in fact. Yeah, it is insane this deck has four Galblasts and three, three Shrapnel Blasts. Those, th that is not the right seven blasts. New limited set is only for our limited streams, but it also affects constructed. Like, there's a regionals coming up. We want to stream some standard, the new standard format. Like, there are some cards that might be good in Pioneer that we might want to try. I'm very excited to play uh, the Wandering or the Eternal Wanderer in both limited and constructed. Yeah. Is, is, my, is my commentary on this. Yeah, I would like to state that every previous time that someone has claimed that Devoted Druid is the best deck in Modern, it has not been the case. And, and yeah, Fastlands being in Pioneer is in fact huge. Hmm. Our opponent's countering the Galblast to gain some life. That is That's totally fine. That's very fine. <laughs> so we'll eat this, they'll go to four, and then we'll Mishra's Bobble them now. Because I definitely would like to draw the card on their turn. Oh, nice. That nice. means we win. Uh... Does it? Well, it doesn't Probably. determine. Like, like, it doesn't <laughs> okay, literally mean that. We get two cards, and do we have a blood? So yeah. It's yeah. It's pretty hard for us to miss. I, would I say. do like the interesting question of do we blood away this and will there enough? I think no, though. I think no is the right answer. Okay, well, we're sideboarding now. But this time you're on the PTC. You're, well, have you considered Neoform? <laughs> Between the two decks, Neoform and Devoted Druid, I would like to state that after the new set releases, I am unsure which will be better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do we have a Discord? We do not have a Discord. Uh, we could, but we, we don't could. have one. I think we're still a little too small of a stream for a Discord. I'm not sure we have much in the way of summoning a suit. Shadow Spear is probably good. Yeah. We definitely should have a System Magic Discord. Okay, well, it's officially been added to the to-do list to add have a System Magic Discord. Although I want to be clear that a lot of behind-the-scenes things I do, but uh, I, never, I don't use Discord. <laughs> So that's Andrew's job. If it's anyone's job. Well, wait, wait. I, I would I would only do it in, in, in concert with, with noted experienced Discord mod Ryan MTG. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would I would work with him behind the scenes. Excellent. I, I am a, a heavy Discord user, so Yes. I, I am in about a million Discords and I post things in them like all the time. Nice. Uh, up to and including many defunct testing Discords for Pro Tours slash boxes slash whatever's. <laughs> but you know. To be fair, Greg isn't some of them. Yeah, I uh, on, on Eternal Wanderer, I do think it's good in Standard, legitimately. I, I, I want to play Mono White Midrange in Standard with Eternal Wanderer. I, I think that, like, a walker that comes down in Tragic Arrogance is pretty strong in Standard and in Limited. <laughs> Cliff, I, I'm, I'm a bit concerned about this, this line of reasoning. I suspect that your Discord knowledge is sufficient to be a mod, but I, I'm not sure that your lack of constant trolling is sufficient to be a mod. Yeah. You Name see, one criteria of ever saying a statement that isn't trolling. I don't I don't like constant trolling. Are we winning? We are winning. Yeah, Jesse, I think this deck might be good, although I think it's clearly misbuilt, is my current opinion. Ugh, this I have an embarrassing thing to say. Uh-huh. This is making me want to play the modern RCT this week. <laughs> we got him. Boys. I did we already sign him. up for a pre-release with Sam Island Health. And Sam was like, we don't hang out enough, so it'd be a huge dagger to Sam. Are you aware that we lost to Julian John playing it last night? Ooh, that's big. Yeah, since we since we do know that Julian John is both maybe a cheater and also bad at magic, losing Julian John is probably a fix to the deck strength, would be wow. my guess. Really? Just throwing out some mean things. 
Showing me how it's done. Well, I don't think that either of those... I don't think those claims are very controversial. Okay. So I feel confident making them. Ooh, Wanderer plus the Might Stone. And the Weak Stone, I assume. This hand seems a little bit weak, but... Yes, I love it when they take two. Hmm. Our opponent, unfortunately, has countered Ragavan with the best counter in the format. Mm, that's not good for us. I See, think we should zap it. Well, it's a little awkward, but I think so. Oh, do you want to wait till they attack? Well... So that they can't dash another one? Yeah. See, I think we should bolt it main phase instead of doing that. And the reason is... So this deck plays Stumper Denial. And I don't... If we wait till their turn and they play Blue Fetch, we bolt it, they Stumper Denial, it's a disaster. Okay, yeah. And I think if they dash it, another one, it's less of a disaster. Because okay. at least we get to dash one. Yeah, like... okay, 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 okay. You've, you've, you've sold me. Yeah, so I think I just like the, the, the level zero play. Yeah. Although, I think this play is actually often complicated. I also forgot that this was... We were still playing the same opponent. <laughs> oh, we, we are. <laughs> well, I do like this deck is prowess, and it, it plays Rodvon. I, I mean, what I actually like about this deck is Shattering Spree so far. Hmm... See, I think we might want to let the Saga cook a bit. Yeah, that makes sense. I think we should just dash Rog. Nice. What are the odds of it connecting, would you say? Uh, I don't think incredibly high. Yeah, I'm not certain that Light of the Stage is supposed to be in this deck. I, I, I'm definitely open to it not being in the deck. Um, I don't know. I... I, I just played the list that, like, has been winning a ton to, like, give it a chance. So far, I would say that Light of the Stage has been pretty unimpressive. Nice. Oh, they have nothing? Wow. That's insane. Well, I guess let's cast Light of the Stage. Do it. You want to make the stage dark again? That's a wow, real step backwards. Uh, I'm down to draw a card now, I think. I think so. Our hand's kind of mid. Yeah. Okay, our opponent has Wooded Foothills. Nice. And then we we do have that Synthesizer coming next turn, presumably. Yeah. I mean, look, I don't know if Let's is good or not in this deck. I, I am I am unsure. Um, I do like Synthesizer. Synthesizers look like pretty excellent in our games. I, 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 I'm optimistic with Synthesizer. I would like to play four Shrapnel Blast. I don't know how many Gal Blast. Less than four would be the statement I would make. And I have some interests. Yeah, see, I don't know how much work we want to do on this deck, but I have some thoughts. Yeah. Um, informed by my massive four match sample size. Yeah, I don't really want, have any desire to play red in this deck, to be, to be honest. I like that it pings them three times. Yeah, that I think is the most appealing aspect of the card. Oh, were we supposed to board in Relic? These Uzics don't always play Goyf, so I don't want to do that. Yeah. But we are getting punished. Uh... I think we just play DRC in this. I think so, yeah. Because now we kind of need to get into burn mode quickly, is the, yeah. is, is the situation, I, I would say. I think we keep it. Really? Well, don't we want to actively want to hit? Oh, I guess we don't. We have infinite okay, yeah, lands. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, I would yeah. rather waste this trigger than, than hit a land. Yeah. Great, let's play that. Sure. That's a Tarmogoyf Trump and a damage if I've ever seen it. The dream. <laughs> and an artifact to sacrifice to Shrapnel Blast later. Well, we have a synthesizer that, to be fair. True. Nobody... <laughs> okay, Shrink, I, I won't tell her if you don't. Yeah. Um. Uh, I already told her, actually. I sent her a nice message. Yeah, I, I was informed recently that Jesse's, like, not playing the next tournaments. Like, there are three tournaments in a row that Jesse wants to play and isn't playing. Mm. So I assume this is one of them, but I don't is know. Is one of them the pre-release? And hey, Urtai, welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to System Magic. Okay, so how large is this thing? It's a 5-6, so we're taking 8 here. I wonder if we should start chumming the Goyf already. It does seem like we have more stuff to chum. I think we so, should. Yeah. I think it's kind of a by times we can burn them out angle. Dang. Dang. 
I mean, let's dash Rog. Love it. Should I dash it off Saga? I think so, right? I think, yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, famously, Jesse never reads chat. So, you know, yeah. there's that. We can blood away one of these rogs, to be honest. Oh, we can cast a 1 1 territorial combo. It's probably good. <laughs> like, legitimately. Yeah, seems fine. Boom. 1 1 online. And then this? Yeah. And wait, do, have we played a land? Oh, yeah, we played Saga. Yeah, we played Saga. I mean, we're going to start making Saga contracts, and they're pretty titanic. Yeah, that's true. We have all this blood. Mm -mm. We can dash a second monkey. Uh, strong line, strong line. Um, but you can't just play one post combat and let the dash go and die, right? Yes. Okay. I think it is sometimes right to do that. It's not right a whole lot, but it's right sometimes. Okay, I want to keep chumping. I think th this one's worse. This one can loot. Yeah, I agree. Mm -mm. I mean, we do need to hit more burn spells, but maybe... Well, I guess we might be able... Wait, we use Shadow Sphere in our deck right now, right? Uh, I think so. We might just be able to Shadow Sphere take, take us home, I guess. Ooh. Wait, that's very good. What's the other thing Kavu can do? Um, it can exile a card from a graveyard. Mm, that doesn't do much. Okay, well, we're definitely going to play Sokka's in, I think. Right? I mean, I think... Hmm. Yeah, okay, let's play Sockets then. Okay, but I'm trying to figure out what our turn actually looks like. Well, I kind of want to start by Galv Blasting them. Galv Blasting them? Oh, we could Galv Blast the Scion. I want to Galv Blast the Scion. Oh, Galv Blast the Scion. These yeah, things yeah, using yeah. Trample's big. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... I think, so then, like, then the question is, like, is Teratokovic supposed to attack and discard Rog? And I think the answer is yes. And, and do you want to dash a Rog? No. Or, I just think we just play one of them. But I, I, mean, I want to dash one. We have we have three. Well, okay, but that's not why I want to, I, I want to make sure we make a Construct. Oh, I see, I see. Like, if we dash one and they kill it, it's a disaster. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I just want to attack, loot, play one. I, like, I think we're winning. I think yeah, we're yeah, conservative. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. In which case, I guess I should, I'm attacking first. Yeah. I mean, I we could burn face. I'm really worried about this thing having trample, like legitimately, that I believe is a serious concern. And I'm not sure our opponent is actually beating us just like pumping out two constructs and finding Shadow Sphere. Maybe they are. Uh, it's not obvious to me they are. Mm-mm. Like, if, like, I basically think that a construct with Shadow Sphere has Death Touch in the sense that if it hits anything, we win. It is impossible to know what Scion is. That is factual. Yeah, I, honestly, I played with Scion more than anyone should, and I barely know what it does, so. Ooh, that's a good one. I expect we shouldn't play it right now, but it is a good one. We're just going to play Rog. Yeah. Okay. I, I like just playing Rog. Playing Rog seems pretty good. I mean, I again, my intent is to jump block Tarn Glaive. Yeah. It's just a classic red gain five life. That's what we need here. Nice. I love red. Oh, yeah. Cyan is a 4-4 four, four for two. What do you mean? It has no other text. Ragablam. Uh-oh. What? Is, okay. Well, there, there were more of that coming. That is unfortunate, I would say. Because now we're dead extraordinarily quickly. Well, the so the, the, the Construct can bl eat Wildnikov. Oh, that's true. So I wait, 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 wait. We also could... Okay, well, then against this attack, I guess we can't do this. I was thinking we could also double block Goyf. But I guess against this attack, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I guess the issue is because of Trample, if they if they have Leyline... If we block Wildnikov and they have Leyline Binding... We lose. Wait, they don't have an island, though. Yeah, oh, they wait. Do. Yeah, they do. They, this is all five types. Yeah. I mean, I don't think they land binding because they haven't been playing like they have it. Yeah. 
But it's hard to know. They did tank a lot before we uh, attacked with Kavu. That's true. You think they were tanking about Leyline Binding? It's possible. Okay, wait. So I, let me go to blocks and, and we can think. So, like... I basically think we should make this block because okay, I really want to. So I, I think, really want to untap with this. Yeah, I think if they binding and kill it, it's fine. Wait, I, my statement wasn't over. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I think this is the only other consideration. But I think this block. So like, let's say we block like this. So they say, okay, leyline binding this. Yeah. Trample over like. We oh no! Wait, that means we still died, it, right? We get a one. Oh, we go to one, and then like, we try to burn them out. Mm, that's not impossible, actually. So we go to one, and then we have draw step synthesizer, like synth maybe second synthesizer to find seven points. Plus the Terra Kavu attack. Well, there's a nice 4-4 four four in the way. It can chump attack and loot. Oh, true. Um, wait, wait a minute. And the Ragavan isn't really doing anything? I think this is, I think blocking the Ragavan to gain one life is correct. Okay. It's very weird, but I think we can, like, we're not likely to beat Land Mining, but I think we can beat it. If only Rakovan was a 1-2. Uh, yeah. Like, legitimately, so, okay, what are odds of finding Lethal Burn on our turn? Like, definitely sub 50%. But, but it can find a Spell Bomb for 2 damage. That's a good point. Uh, th th I believe they play Bolt, yes. I think lists vary somewhat, but I believe they play Bolt. Also, I guess I won't cast much bolts in game one and almost certainly we board them out. Yeah. So I guess regards of yeah, so I guess the answer is yes, they play bolt. The saga can find spell bomb for two. That is also true. So like, wait a minute. We're like we're like very live to kill them next turn. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I love this block. And this, like all other moments, you know what card I most want to draw? <laughs> Shrapnel Blast. <laughs> Four! <laughs> my my strongest opinion about the deck so far is that I think playing three Shrapnel Blast is insane. Yeah. Yeah, I sort of think we played around binding beautifully, to be honest. Um. Okay, so I I think we don't want to construct. We need to kill them right now. Yeah. So you want to make a mana? Yeah. Okay. And I think I do just want the pyrite spell bomb. Uh. Yep. I agree. And then let's play Synthesizer? Yep. Uh, so far, Den has not looked very good. Okay, wait. Now it's wait, complicated. That's good, right? Because we can spell bomb them. Oh, this land comes into play tapped. Yeah, well, so the thing is, if we spell bomb them and Lutz, we don't have mana to Shrapnel Blast. I, th I think it might be not good. Yeah. Like, I think maybe we should blood away our land now with our floating mana. Oh, right. We have a floating mana. Yeah. Uh, I agree. Wait, what, what, what's... What, you do, though? Wait, what, what, what's going on? Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, wait. Oh, wait. If we... Sorry. If we pirate spell them and then we... No, wait. This isn't quite true. If we pirate spell them and lots them, we can we can still shroud the blast off that. Oh, because we have the one floating mana. Right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But hold on, hold on. I'm still not sure that's better than using the blood. So, wait. Basically, the question now is looks at Shrapnel Blast is the count of matters, right? So doing this, I guess looks at two cards for one mana. I guess Bloods looked at one card for one mana. Wait, so I guess that is better. Yeah. Okay. Notably, wait, it, it means we can't find Bolt Bolt. Yeah, but we also can hit a land off this, too. That's true. Okay. I think this is right. I'm not sure. Yeah. But I think it's right. Cast with Spectacle. Okay, well, we bricked. So now... So now we need to loot away land, attack with Kavu, loot away Ragavan, hope to find land shrapnel blast to kill. Yes. That's our only out. Yes. I agree. 
Ask me into the, the, the Okay. Well, uh, that means we have no outs, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'll attack, but I believe I believe we are now drawing dead. Yep. Oh my god! I guess we're we're at one. There were very few lands we could find. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are deceased. Dang. Oh wait, actually, I should probably not concede for just a brief moment, just in case we can trick them. Okay, we failed to trick them. Hmm. If they, for some reason, taken one and then cracked their fetch, we'd win. Ooh, that's true. Uh, I don't know why our opponent would choose to do those things, but yeah. you know. Um, yeah, I think our list is correct. Oh, wait, Goyf. Probably one relic is I like one its one relic, yeah. I don't want a million relics. Can we kind of light up the stage? Yes. Okay, cool. It could also be this. Oh. Actually, I prefer that, I think. Because these games are sort of grindy. Yeah, actually. okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not sold that Light of Stage is good in this deck. I also don't think it would be crazy to just play blue and express iteration in this deck. But you would take a lot more damage from your lands, which hurt you in the tight races. Um, hmm. Wait, is Synthesizer a color pie break? Uh, it does very red things. I mean, I think the weirdest thing about it is it makes a white Samurai. <laughs> Uh, what is our record? Uh, we are three and one. Three and one. We're playing for a four and one. Nice. Um, it makes a vigilance creature in red. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is kind of weird. I don't think it's that weird for it to make a white creature. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's pretty easily achieved with hybrid mana. For yeah, yeah. 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 The vigilance creature does feel pretty strange, but you know. Why are there so many fetch lands in the first place? Bobble. There's Bobble. And this also card's in our deck, Alan. Yeah. Yeah. DRC. I, I don't, I don't think having, I don't know, like, I'm definitely not claiming this was correctly built. In fact, I've said multiple times, I suspect it is not correctly built, but I don't think that the, like six fetch lands is far from the correct number. I don't know the right number. Like if you told me it was five, you told me it was eight. Like I believe all that. I just like, I don't know. It seems sane. Oh no, I have to get you more water. Would you mind getting me more water? Hold on, I'll be right back. I have to get Andrew more water. Okay, just to be clear, I think impulse drawing becoming red was great for the game and makes tons of sense. Um. <laughs> that, oh my god, Jesse. That's S tier comment there. S tier comment. Hmm. Okay, now you have plenty of water. Mm. Now you can hydrate. Thank you. I appreciate that. I also brought my full water bottle in case a lot of people redeem. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Greg, at the after this match, I would uh -huh. like to talk slightly about where we think the deck might go before we close out the stream. Okay. If it's not too late, at least. No, that's fine. Mm -mm. Yeah, H H Ring was definitely a part of the I don't know Magic Associates League crew that existed highly during the pandemic and marginally to this day. Yeah. Well, see, the, the problem with League Ben Whites is that I'm too bad at it. Like, honestly, if I could magically be much better at League, I would enjoy the game a lot, but I'm so bad. I'm so bad it tilts me. Um, if you want me to say hi to you, you have to follow. That's the only way to get a hello from me. Mm -hmm. Or post your first ever chat. Sometimes I then say hi to people because it always says first ever chat. Um, I think this is keep. Looks good to me. First of all, it has the best card in our deck, which we inexplicably have three copies of, so there's that. First ever chat. Hi, Greg. Uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> so, I think there's no universe where we aren't bobbling this turn, so I assume we just miss Swiss Swiss Fear, bobble, yeah. tap for two. We don't pull any scry tricks. Oh no, people are saying hi to me and I really want to say hi back! Well, you, <gasps> you, you've been kind Why of owned. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Greg, this is just a Psycho Bar incident all over again. <laughs> Do I ever say hi to the same people more than twice? See, the thing is, some people I know have more than one account. Uh, for I, example, Cliff. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, I don't know if some people is correct. I certainly know there is a person with multiple accounts. When are we this? Oh, okay. Wrath of Greg. Mm -mm. I am very wrathful. <laughs> Not me. Well, I thought you meant maybe Washington, uh, Washington D.C., which is where I'm from. I I do visit there quite frequently. 
Okay, wait. Yeah, we can discuss. Here's the thing to discuss. Um, is it? So, okay, my brother just texted me. My brother's having a baby. And he just texted me that they're having a baby shower that they want me to come to. Here's my Lotus. Um, they're having a baby shower that they want me to come to, but it's the weekend of regionals. Is it scummy to be like, sorry, I, like, I think I'm just not going to go because I want to go to regionals. I mean, that's what I would do, okay. but it's up to you. You can live your, you can make your own choices, you know? Do you see? Uh, yeah. Also, that was a little risky. Give the baby the Lotus. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Wait, you mean playing synthesizer? Well, it was, what if he hadn't hit land? Yeah, then we attack for two. It's not that okay. bad. I think I might have just played DRC and attacked for one. But I mean, I just don't think DRC is going to live. So like, I'm Regionals not sure. Regionals greater than baby shower. Yeah, I think so too. Also, like, I don't know, traveling out of town for uh, my brother's baby shower. Like, I don't know. That's I, I don't really feel like I need to go to that. Ooh, summer games done quick. Is that in Minneapolis? Yeah, game done quick is in Minneapolis, I think. If, if anyone comes to summer games done quick, I want to go. Yeah, I actually also want to go. That sounds very fun to me. Uh, it's like it's like speed running. It's like a speed running convention. Yeah, I, I I suspect that many members of our house will go. Possibly all of us. Is um, it? It's not board games. It's video games. Yeah, it, it's like you just kind of watch speed running, but this is an is an activity that I generally enjoy. Hmm. Is it time to strap and blast our first creature? No. Are you sure? You you can just burn them out. I guess we're pretty close to that, huh? So I just play synthesizer, you think? Um, so wait, I really want to try and hit delirium. Oh. Because I really want to three them. No, I do two. So how can we do that? Well, we could play lightning bolt targeting our opponent. That'll put instant in the yard guaranteed. Right? Yeah. And then we'll get a, a look. Because we do have five, we have T at least 10 points of burn in our hand mm -hmm. so if we get delirium like and hit for three right now that's that's all of it no you're right i mean i suspect that's going to involve playing synthesizer and volts most likely probably okay we can play synthesizer so i want to play synthesizer yeah because yeah. what if we just like hit a burn spell off synthesizer right yeah we also could by the way bolt this like pre-combat it's a little weird Ooh. wait i just want to top that top it Artifact in the bin doesn't get a Delirium, but it's still good enough. Yeah. And now we're just gonna play Saga. Yeah, and we're just gonna sh we're just gonna <laughs> trap to blast them. Trap to blast them. This deck is sometimes just a joy. <laughs> and we might still hit it. No. But Wait, we maybe should have targeted this actually. Oh. Can we then attack for four? Yeah, yeah. We, we probably should have actually, but it's fine. Uh, Is land a good draw? I guess it is. It's our third red. Yeah, this is just a good draw. Yeah. Oh, he's going to get exiled. To this. Oh, okay. Then bin it, bottom it. Well, I guess nothing matters, but... Yeah, okay. I'll bit it. Whatever. Because yeah. we could hit Mistress Bobble. Yeah, we, we, this was wrong. We should have... Uh, we, we, sh we should have just killed this thing and attacked for four. But whatever. Wait, I, I like putting them at exactly eight. Like, it... Versus nine? We, yeah, I mean, full plus shrapnel blast kills them. <laughs> well, yeah, they might but not draw like... Land. Well, they might counter shrapnel blast. I mean... I guess that's true, that's true. In fact, killing this prevents them from countering because it's stubborn oh, oil. okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I think it was right to kill Territory Kabaku. I don't think it's important or a big deal. I think we're going to win no matter... I think all lines win in, in all likelihood, but... I did forget about stubborn denial. I'm not sure what's being discussed in chat. Uh, complete nonsense. They should, they should use the nonsense emotes to let us know it's nonsense. Yeah, feel free to use the nonsense emotes to let us know that it's nonsense. Mm -mm. <laughs> See, look at this. A nice community where people are bonding. We don't need Discord. I mean, I'm not sure if we had Discord, if anyone would use it, but we could have one. Um, I, what I, like, I definitely don't really need more discords, but you know, I, I guess I could have beat a few more. I joined two more discords like today though. 
What better ways to catch up with someone than the chat of the systematic stream? <laughs> or he's in a corner by himself. That is where he normally hangs out. Yeah, yeah. me were three one. I think we're gonna win this game, despite our despite our best efforts. <laughs> um, I would like to bet on us winning the game, and I have no regrets about any lines we've taken. Yep. Only I have regrets about lines we've taken. For the record. Mm -mm. We do have a lot of damage in our hand. As far as I can tell when we're playing this deck, once we draw Shrapnel Blast, all I want to draw is another Shrapnel Blast. Uh-huh, and once we haven't drawn Shrapnel Blast, I often want to draw a Shrapnel Blast. I mean, to, to be clear, I'm still not sure this deck is good, although I am updating towards it being good following the stream. Yeah. Like, or yes, like, I guess, I am at this point going to make a claim. Okay. I claim this deck is better than Rhinos. Mm. You should know, for those who don't know, he really doesn't like Rhinos. <laughs> but it is one of the top 10 most popular modern decks, and it's clearly not unplayable. Actually, Andrew told me off stream that he's only 35% to play this deck at Energy Champs. Wait, I actually think I'm 100% to get a time machine, go back in time, and then play Energy Champs. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'll try to make a stronger claim. Uh, God, what, what other modern decks do I think are playable but not that Okay, good? Jesse, important question. If you were prepping for energy champs and you got a call from Andrew, but it was like, it sounded like Andrew, but he was like, I'm Andrew from the future, and it turns out Shrapnel Blast is broken in modern. Do you think he could convince you? I don't know if this deck is better than Living End. It might be. It might be. I, I think there's a chance it's better than Living End. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I thought you would say. <laughs> we'll see. Have you considered, though, that you could play Shrapnel Blast in Teamer Breach? That's a nice a nice plan. So you have these Ooh. artifacts lying around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, fills yeah. the yard for the Breach, you know? You can just repeatedly play Shrapnel Blast from the yard with Mitra's Bobble, where so six cards go to five damage, you know? Yeah. Like, are we onto something yet? Mm, I think so. Okay, look. So... I was going to save this to the end of the stream, but our opponent is in the tank for infinity. So I need to talk to you, chat, because, okay, <laughs> tomorrow we, through a lot of persistence and effort, were invited to the new, the Phyrexia All Will Be One Early Access event. And I know that you all prefer to watch Constructed than Limited. I get it. I mean, I don't, but I, I understand that that's what you want, but it would mean a lot to me personally if you came and watched us streaming tomorrow afternoon, we're starting early, we're starting at 1 o'clock, and we're going to stream for much longer than we normally do. And we would really, really, really appreciate it if you came and watched us. I know that lots of people will be streaming. You can go watch your other favorite content creators too. I really think you should. But it would mean a lot to me if we had a pretty good viewer count. And so... I am, I am asking you very nicely to come and watch us tomorrow. That would really, really mean a lot to me personally. Uh, thank you all very much. That has been my, uh, that has been my appeal. Thank you, chat, for all the nice words you're saying. I will say hello to anyone who says hello tomorrow. If you want a hello for me, tomorrow is the way to say it. Although, to be fair, I will be, like, Frexianized, so I don't know how to do it i would like to uh, yeah we're, we're gonna be in philly then i'm only gonna be there on friday uh, i actually have something in new york uh the next day uh on saturday but i'm gonna come friday the hell always come with a wave always yeah um what time is the stream tomorrow 1 p.m central time is when we'll be starting and we're gonna be going uh quite a while our plan is to stream much longer than we normally do unclear exactly oh they played a land <laughs> unclear exactly how long we'll be um will be streaming, but definitely longer than normal. Mm. Okay. So, so so, I would like to add that it would mean a lot to, to Greg if you watch our stream. It would also mean a medium amount to me. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm obviously trolling. There's the comment I had to make. I understand. <laughs> Do we plan on leaving at 8 for trivia pro tomorrow? Probably. I think so. No, no, no. I, I, I plan to go to trivia. Yeah. I if I'm having, like, a lot of fun, I might... Solo not stream? Good. I might not go to trivia. Yeah, that's But fine. I think that that's like seven hours of streaming. That's so much streaming. Like, I'm not even sure we're going to stream that long. Yes. Okay. Uh, so they did not leave up a blue mana. Yeah, so let's Shrapnel Blast them. Yeah. What I like about this plan is that we'll cause, it was likely resulted in our opponent having five less life points. 
If we go to trivia tomorrow, remember the answer is Kansas. Yeah. Um, good to know. Good to know. We do actually play trivia weekly. Uh, this card goes in the bin, I think. Yep. I mean, I don't really know what I'm looking for, but it's not that. Okay, well, now we have an additional Urza Saga. Good, to, good, 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 good hits, I guess. I guess I'll play it, whatever. I don't know why I shouldn't. Sure. And I guess I'll Galv Blast them. I like finishing it off with Galv Blast. Yeah, this is the clear best card in the deck. I mean, you know. Playing around to date. I would also yeah. like to state that our Galv Blast is currently turned off as it always is. Woo! We did it! Yes, yeah, so we finished 4 1. I think this deck is good. Let me just let me just make some 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 minor alterations, you know, real quick. <laughs> Mm. So, yeah, uh, what I've determined is you should play four of this card. And if you're allowed to play more, you should probably play more. Um, then, uh, I kind of still think it should maybe have Springleaf Drum. But, I don't know. Could it play the card Underworld Breach? Maybe. It's not that good at filling the yard, but it could. And hey, Massasio, Mas sorry, it's hard to see your name through the words but welcome to the stream play the treasure dog that does not seem that good i i, I i'm skeptical i'm not sure whether or not that i should play breach or not i don't have an opinion on that right now um it might be right um okay i'm just gonna make some some minor changes so first of all i think wait i want the drum yeah i think i want the drum too it seems like actively great in this deck and i don't i don't really agree with the criticisms that have been leveled so far um I understand we need to cut two cards. I'm getting to that. Uh, Talking about Scrapyard Mutt or Reinforced Ronin and really get him. Uh, so I also think that probably this should be three and this should be less is my guess. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. I like three relics seems like I'm not even sure you want two relics. Yeah. This seems useful. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's possible we should have some breaches. I mean, breaches could be in the light of the stage slots. But I'm not sure. I mean, how do you feel about Light of the Stage in this deck? I felt not good about Light of the Stage. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, I, I don't like that it kind of does the same thing as Synthesizer. And it felt like definitely sometimes it was good. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I think three breach is kind of a lot for this deck. I, I suspect that maybe we want a breach or two, is my guess. The deck is quite low lands, which is not... A, breaching Hippocamp is not the breach I mean. <laughs> I think that three is quite a lot for a deck that's this bad at filling the yard. I'm going to get to 7,000 points, and I'm going to suggest team or breach, except the breach is breaching Hippocamp. That's great, Greg. You do that. <laughs> My current proposal is this, with three gals. Okay. Um, we did go up a random artifact. Is it possible we should cut a random artifact? Well, oh, did we which... discuss shaving Galv Blast? Yeah, I just, I just shaved oh, one. Oh, you did. Okay. Well, so because you still want it to be called Seven Blast. Here is my observation based on this thing. Uh, we in this league we like had Gal Blast be on like twice. Yeah. Okay, that is not an acceptable rate of having it on. I think. Um, the bone that could definitely go. I I don't know if the match go or not. I mean, when we played it, it was fine. Yeah. I I don't know. Uh, it's also possible they should go up a. Oh right. I think this card is bad. Yeah. I would like to not play Den of the Bugbear at all. Wait, I liked the idea of a Canopy Lander, too. Oh. That was someone Wait, said in Wait, that's a great idea. Why does that not have... I mean, I guess we're worried about taking too much pain, but I'm going to pose this. Yeah, that seems fine. Or just one. Wow, rare, great Greg idea. <laughs> I think <laughs> I have the power to time out Ari, right? Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, to be clear, I <laughs> now think... Now we can cast Orvar. That's true. <laughs> the reason I like Orvar in this deck is it's it seems very hard for the opponent to play around because, like, the alternate plan B threats seem much worse against this deck than Archons. So they kind of have to have Archons. Yeah. Orvar owns the Archons. They're under a lot of pressure, so they can't just, like, wait around. They can play around it. Like, it seems like Orvar is pretty nice in this deck. Um, I, I don't know that Fire Easel is the best land versus, like, just, like, more ma more mountains slash fetches. Like, I, I think it's kind of close. Taking damage definitely matters. Yeah. Um, and I think these will meaningfully impact our life total. That's true. But, uh, for now, uh, this is, this is, this is, I think, where I'm at. Like, two Breach, four Shrapnel Blast is, is my guess. Um, I'm not totally sure this card is good in the deck, but I'm, I'm willing to try it. I, yeah. It's, it's like the most messed up card in Modern, so I'm pretty much willing to try it in anything. Why does everyone keep saying we should swap one Arid Mesa for a Prismatic Vista? I don't know. 
that that's bizarre and irrelevant yeah and notably like i i think the thing you were talking about about like bluff equity is like pretty important right uh yes i think scalding tarn is the, the fetch that's the best yeah um but mm -mm. yeah it, it, i agree that it might be low downside i mean the, again the only card you could conceivably splash by i think is iteration um mm. but i'm not even sure like you, you kind of don't want too much air this is already a bunch of air yeah like I'm not, it's not obvious to me that's good. It might be good. Oh yeah, Underworld, Underworld Breach, Cast Shrapnel Blast, Escape Shrapnel Blast is a good, a good one-two punch, if you will. Well, yeah, like one of the reasons I think it's already good in the deck is that you can maybe play it for four mana to to like kill your opponent. But yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, the rest of the sideboard I'm not making any specific claims on yet. I didn't get to see Void Mirror in action. Yeah. It still makes some sense to me just because, like, this isn't a very good Chalice the Void deck is, I think, the idea. Yeah. Um, because, like, you're going to harm yourself, I think, is the concern. Like, yeah. if you cast on zero, you're going to lock out your bobbles. It still might be better to just have Chalice and accept the Anti-Synergy. I yeah. don't think that's crazy. Um, I also don't think playing Haywire Might is crazy, which I see someone in the chat brought up. Um, but probably I would try a League with this would be where I would go next. Um, and I'd see how Breach performed. I, I want to keep an eye on it. It, it, it. I think it is conceivable this deck is supposed to play zero Breach, but I also think it's conceivable that Breach is a fucked up card and you're supposed to play a few in every that is, deck. It is a good point that Mira does stop Bobble also. Oh. Wait. What's the point of Void Mirror? Wait, I didn't realize that. It's like an anti-Cascade hate card that for some reason also hates uh, on Tron. Hmm. Sure, I mean, I guess it's good. I guess it, like, owns Eldrazi Tron, which is probably a bad matchup. Yeah. But, like, why are we playing two mana Chalice of the Void when we could be playing zero mana Chalice of the Void? It stops Evoke Elementals? Oh, is that what we're trying to do? Okay, I, I don't have an opinion of Void Mirror right now. It's, it's $60 cheaper. <laughs> it, it's, it's very weird. It might be bad. I don't know. Yeah. I was pretty impressed by Orvar, and I think Creativity is probably a tough matchup, so I think I would just play three. Fuck them. Yeah. Um, is my kind of opinion. Uh, and wait, can you not play Chalice with Gigantha? You, you can't. That's true. Okay. But like, we never picked a Gigantha a single time in the league. If yeah. Chalice is the best hate card, I want to play Chalice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Like, I'm not sure that Gigant. Like, against Cascade, <laughs> are you really picking up Gigantha? That yeah. seems absurd. <laughs> Like, it could be true, but yeah. it seems absurd. Jagatha as four mana, you can always sack a blood to... Oh, it stops Force of Vigor. Yeah, zero mana is big synthesizer. Yeah. Um, I... I, I, I sus... Like synthesizer, yeah. Like, basically, I suspect those should be chalices, but I don't know. I, yeah. I would need to test more. Um, yeah, but overall, I really like this deck. I like the foreshadowing speed plan against Hammer. It seems pretty highly effective. I like the core strategy of the archetype. Um, synthesizer finally finding a good home I think is super nice uh and yeah I was surprisingly impressed by Voldaren Epicure which I did not expect yeah but it looked pretty excellent in the show it, I mean, it really did um that was the thing I was most impressed by I think yeah agreed agreed so yeah uh this is probably where I, we can close it out yeah uh, I hope that everyone is going to come back for our big long st streamer showcase stream tomorrow super excited to play some limited of the new format it's going to be awesome get your Philly test prep early by watching us stream get ready for your pre-releases um and then okay we're gonna send you off somewhere we could do this again yeah just wait you want to just do that again yeah twinless okay, twin's okay, good people. okay you can hit him with nice the okay we're gonna raid twinless twin again uh even though we raided them yesterday um but that's okay uh yeah but twinless twins gas so you yeah know, you gotta consider that um, yeah, so we're going to send you off to Twinless Twin MTG. If he forgets my name again, tell him that my name is Greg. <laughs> Alternatively, tell him his name is like Dave. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be pretty funny. But thanks so much for uh, tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow for some All We We Won Limited. Get hyped. See you then. System 1 PM. Magic 1 PM. out. 1 p.m. Central. Just want to emphasize that. Sorry. <laughs>